how do you do? Welcome back to sunny Los Angeles, California. For the OT7 Championship presented by Adidas, we have a quarterfinals matchup between Raw Miami and Level 82. These guys are laughing in my introduction. I don't even care. I got do Kieran. Do? I got <laughs> Kieran. I got Destroy next to me. I'm overtime day. How are we doing, guys? We got one more. Uh, this is our third quarterfinals game. We're rounding out the semifinals. Level 82, Ooh. Raw Miami. Ooh. What are we looking forward to for this game? It's going to be a good one, man. Level 82 has been stepping up to the plate. And Raw Miami, you already know what you and Sam back there leading them boys. They've been balling, too. Uh, Level 82 has been on one recently, bro. Joey White probably has 19 interceptions this mm. entire tournament. But this bracket looks insane right now, I'm telling you. We, we're, we already got two teams still in their spots in the semifinals. But right now, we got Raw Miami, Level 82. It's going to be an interesting matchup. I think Raw Miami might be the team to beat with Julian Sand, Sean. I know. I know. Raw Elite Miami. 11 MVP. Elite 11 MVP. We're going to get to him and much more coming up right now. They're going to start with the ball. 22-minute running clock up until the final minute. We played four divisionals to get to this point. We had three different champions. Low Pro won twice. We had nine out large bids. Level 82 won OT7 North in Baltimore. That was our fourth and final OT7. Raw Miami did not win any of the divisionals. They came close, though. They came close multiple times, and they got an at-large bid. Ooh. Lil Wayne, Young Weezy. Young Grant. Weezy. Lil Weezy. Raw Miami, mostly from Southern Florida, hence the name. Level 82, coached by Tory Smith, two-time Super Bowl champ, mostly from the DMV. Baltimore. And D, Julian Sayan might be the best QB here. Alabama commit. I mean, four-star prospect again. Like we said, he won Elite 11 MVP the other day. He was late to this tournament because he was competing. I mean, that, that resume speaks for itself. I'm not going to lie. Four stars. Not high. He's, he's a five-star. He's a five-star. I know. I know. He's he's unbelievable. They look like a completely different team now that he's here. They have a great backup in Beckham Kritza, who only looked fine day one. He looked better in the morning of pool play day two. And then when Raw Miami got got Julian Sand back, they looked like a different team. They had their yeah. swagger back. They, got right. they did they have got their right. swagger back. The coaches started talking more. They played SFE in probably one of the biggest trash talking matches I've ever seen. And then they played Trillian and beat them again. Oh, good know. ball. Julian Sand just so calm back there. Dion DeBlanc on the catch. DeBlanc, excuse me. Four-star wide out. Houston, Texas. Now, you'll hear very quickly, if there is someone from Texas playing in this game, mm. Kieran will let you know. You know what I got to do, man. He will let you know. Now I'm in the booth. Y'all got to respect my Texas boys. You know? <laughs> Tom, what's going on? I don't have any respect for Texas. How, how's it going, guys? Overtime Tom here. I'm down here with Gavin Sidwar, quarterback for uh, Level 82. How are we feeling today? I'm feeling great. We got a matchup right now against Raw Miami. What do, what do you think about this team? A lot of hype around them. They're a good team, obviously. They're high rated seed than us, but that don't matter today. We just got to win. And you got Julian saying on the other side, the other quarterback, kind of a QB matchup between you and him. What do you think about his game? Um, he's obviously a dog going to Bama. If you go to Bama, you're not bad, so he's good, obviously. Came in second place yesterday in the Adidas throwdown, the quarterback competition. Are you a little mad about that? Nah, that's cool. I hit every single target here. I just had to go a little faster. It's cool. Mm. Gavin's always chilling. Also, the tongue on the side of the mouth. We're laughing all the time when we run you straight. I don't, I don't even know why it happens. I'm going to try to practice when I get home. Just... Is that Michael Jordan vibes? Yeah, yeah Michael Jordan. Oh, yeah. We got the Michael Jordan of uh, OT7, Gavin Sidwar. Back to you guys. Michael Man. Jordan of OT7. <laughs> Michael Jordan. Kevin <laughs> Sidwell. <laughs> Michael Jordan of OT7. I don't know what Raw was trying to do right there. I mean, I know what they was trying to do, but Level 82 just strapped that up, though. Hey, man, you got Julian saying, just throw him, bro. That's what I'm no. saying. <laughs> just have him throw the ball. They had a running back come in motion and catch the snap and try to throw it. Yeah. You got the best quarterback in the nation back there. Nation. You got to use him. Nation. In the nation. Nation. Now, this would be a time where they would have KJ Duff, their big tight end. He is hurt. He has not played. Here comes the blitz over the middle. Yeah. No. So, so Day, I'm a little confused because KJ told me he was playing. Ooh, maybe he is back. But regardless, that will be a turnover on downs. No flag. Tack on two for level 82. And D, explain the points for us as we check out this replay. The point systems are easy. If you score, you get seven. You could go for a, a one-point gamble from the 10. If you get that, you go to eight. If you don't, you go back down to six. And on defense, you get some money, too. Catch a pick, you get three points. Turnover on downs is two. Gabe Williams, a four-star linebacker. Virginia Tech commit. 
He's a drummer. He's a good dude. Gabe is hilarious. Bro. And he's one of the funniest dudes out here. I love the fact he brought the work vest out here again. I know. That's what he needed to do. He got the swagger back. He's like, I'm about to work, you boys. So I got to work the vest. I got to go to work. Crazy. Julian saying that Raw Miami offense came up with no points. Huh? Great drive, but right to go in line can't finish. It seems like level 82 came with a whole different swag today. I'm not going to lie. No, for real. Tory Smith been scheming them wide open. For real. Like, like let me find out. They had a different had energy. My team. They had a different energy oh for OT7 North when they were in Baltimore. And we thought, okay, that's because they're at home, little home cooking. Let's see their energy when they're here in LA because they did not look as good in the first divisional as they did in Baltimore. I have a take. They carried it over here in LA. Yeah, what's your take? I think Baltimore level 82 was the closest that we've seen a team play to low pro. Mm. Mm. They blew everybody out the final mm. day. They smacked everybody. Like they could have. They could have competed with Lopro. Like yeah, yeah Lopro that day that in, in Baltimore, Definitely. if Lopro would have shot up to that tournament, I think I think level eighty two would have given them some issues. So if they could tap back into that today, they got the quarterback. They, they got the same the receivers. Kids, though. We'll see. They don't got the kids. Complete in the, the flat. The kids were there making a run. They don't have the kids. Yeah, if they brought, man, that might be what it is. Them kids were going crazy the entire time. Tory Smith running a development program here, and he gets the little kids to come out and cheer them on. Hey. Gavin Sidwar is the QB for level 82. He's young, he's class of 2026, but he's 6'3", 165, and he's looked great so far here in LA. Making some tight throws earlier in the tournament. I wish, that, I wish that one wasn't blown dead. That was Chance coming across Ellis Robinson right there. That boy there. is too good, bro. He's really good. I can't wait to see. This is going to be an interesting matchup. Chance Wiggins facing off against Ellis Robinson. But Gavin, obviously he's got a couple of offers right now. But this kid's only a freshman in high school. Mm. He's finished his freshman year. What's Coach saying over there? Warrington, PA native. Yeah, we can go on to. No, we're going to get him. Here we go. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Let's go, God. We gotta get him in the zone. Keep your eye on number eight. He is second from the top. That's Chance Wiggins. We got a flag blowing it dead. Delay a game. I think that's a delay of game there, yeah. Bang. Delay of game, loss of down. Are the refs not giving play points? I don't know. There's been a couple of delay of games today. That's tough. I was gonna say, how are they supposed to know that? <laughs> yeah. Third you can't down let that happen delay on third downs. Game. So that is a loss of down, as you see on your screen. It'll be 2-2. Two, two. No touchdowns yet. And Raw Miami will take over. Kieran, who are a couple of these wide receivers for Raw Miami? Because they have a lot that stand out. Who's one or two guys that you're looking for in this drive right Obviously, here? Obviously, you're looking at Luane McCoy. Wheezy has made a billion viral moments this year, but also he's had a bunch of just unbelievable catches, especially to end the, the tournament there in Austin. Mm -hmm. But Cortez Mills is also another wide receiver. Obviously, they're missing KJ Duff, their big Paolo Bancaro looking target. Cattle. If they had him here, I think it'd be really, really interesting with Julian Sand playing quarterback. He's but on the sideline dressed up, though. Yeah, no, he is. I'm not sure. They're probably saving him. Yeah, they probably are. You're just going to save if him for later. the last minute. Yeah. Or, or I feel like the red zone would have been the time to use him, though. Yeah. No, nah, he's got, I think just he's got sweats up. on, though. I think he's got sweats on in regular shoes over there. But also, Deion DeBlanc. How can, how can I not? You know? There's LaWayne McCoy. You'll hear sure. his name a lot. Oh, yeah, he does. He looks like he's actually Gloves and all, too. Yeah. Sleeve. You know, if, if, if you've got sleeves <laughs> on, then. You feel me? He ready to go. To Tom, at some point, you're going to have to find out for us why KJ isn't playing. So I talked to him in pregame. He told me he was 100% good to go. Said he was going to be out here. I'm not sure what happened. That's Aren't you standing next to him right now? I, I am, yeah. <laughs> Let me just ask him. Is Julian saying, pop? No. <laughs> Wait, are we going to get you in the game? Yeah, hope so. Next try. We need you down there in the red zone. Sure. He's going to be short. There's two back-to-back -back stops. Gabe Woods uh, is next fired up. I right, bet. You heard it there? You heard it there from KJ. He said again in the next drive, okay, because they need something because the offense keeps stalling out. Level 82 gets off the field and three possessions total. Three turnover on downs. That's KJ Duff right there from Long Island, New York. The only, I think the only four or five star from New York here. You guys are, are giving me a hard time about that. As if Kieran doesn't mention every single time a dude's from like Katy, Texas or something. You know, we got proven guys, you know what I mean? That's Ooh. what. That's Ooh. why uh that's why that's why our boy destroying got 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 a couple guys from Katie, you know what I mean? Like Still, yeah, man. We got guys from Florida too, so we do. We have a lot of guys from Florida. Yeah. KJ Duff on our screen. That boy don't got his helmet on. <laughs> oh. Man. Four to two, very low scoring game. 
So Chan's Wiggins three star. He should honestly be. I think he should be a four star. I think he's yeah. moving up now. I think he's he's just now finally starting to get uh get noticed. They we talked to uh, we talked to Andrew. Ir I think it was Andrew Irvin. Andrew Ivan, no, Andrew Ivan from 24-7, uh, the director of scouting. He's just saying, man, he's got the full package. The only thing he's kind of missing is the top end speed. But, man, I don't know. He's a dog of a receiver, so. Sewar, that's complete. Brandon Finney Jr. Bring up second down. They have other targets other than Wiggins. They've got Finney Jr., Chris Hewitt Jr., mm -hmm. Jamari Powell, Watson. They've got some some hey, dogs, on, so on, it's not on. just a one-man show. Vernon with, Allen's with a dog, too. Vernon Allen caught hey, a couple of game winners here yo, come, as well. So Come up. Come up. They only got one yard to get. Hey. Hey, bro. Hey, press it. Press it. Press it. Press it. Hey, Max. Max, watch the quarterback run. Watch the quarterback run. Chance. Time. Hey, yo, 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 yo. Hey, yo, yo. Hey, yo, CJ. Hey, hey. Safety. Come play man. Safety's playing, man. man. When I was on the field this morning, because I was doing vibe cam and I was standing next to Tory Smith, and the whole time between plays, Tory was in Gavin Sidwar's ear, getting on him about anticipating guys being open, letting go of the ball a little earlier, throwing them open as Raw Miami shows blitz. They're bringing the house. And he one yard. There's Vernon Allen again. First down. New set of downs, move the chains. Level 82 is set up. You only get two blitzes, two QB rushes. Bro, Miami going through it right Bro, now. Bro, I'm telling you, that coach, they, they, he wasn't here. That coach right there wasn't here the past couple of days. That's the energy I was missing from Raw Miami, bro. <laughs> they are the Toxic Kings. Yo, of we bro. cannot blitz the same <laughs> Look at the DC here. <laughs> <laughs> bro, the bro, key, bro, man. Hey, yo, lock it up, yo. We, hey, CJ, you got four. First and goal. Sid Bar looking at Chance. Yeah. Tom Chance. The Wiggins out for seven. Uh, Let them hear it too. Chance Wiggins. I knew he was getting open, man. <laughs> he just ran a little uh, back of the end zone dig type of. I don't even know what that was. What do you say? It's too easy. It's too easy. Too easy. Too easy. Too easy. Why y'all act like y'all don't understand that? Why y'all act like y'all understand that? He yeah. This is him looking up at the at our broadcast booth here. You can't see he said, me. You can't <laughs> see me. Hey, look who's out there in receiver. Who is it, KJ? Hey, yo, KJ oh, Dump yeah. back on the field. KJ back in now. KJ back in now. Let's see how he affects his offense because they've had a hard time getting the ball rolling. That's yeah. Nashaw Montgomery with the catch. Four-star class of 2025 from West Palm. We got Miami, USC, Ole Miss. Penn State offers. We have uh, we have we have a guy named Folks in our truck who's the biggest Penn State fan I know. He has a tattoo of the logo mm. on his leg. Oh, that's crazy, Mr. Nittany Lion. See, I would say that's crazy, but I definitely get a Longhorn tattoo if I was having tattoos. Oh, that's crazy. Nah, I am 100. <laughs> percent I'll wait for the you for get the, the I'll wait for the, I'll wait for the Giants, Giants to get their next Super Bowl. <laughs> the Giants is crazy. <laughs> What's crazy about that? I don't know. This is crazy. I get it on my forehead. <laughs> that that that. Embarrassment of a franchise. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, bro. We just won a playoff game last year, and, and you're a Cowboys fan. I've seen. I my, am not. I'm a Chiefs fan. I, we won a Super Bowl last year. You're Thank from you very much. Dallas. I've seen my team win more Super Bowls than you've seen your team win playoff games. That's mm. crazy. Mm. Mm. KJ Duff over the middle. And look who it is. Short. There he is. Instant impact for number five, and he brings them inside the five yard line. <laughs> nice throw here by Saiyan over the middle. Hey, hey, don't disrespect me. I'm not a Cowboys fan. I'm a Cleveland franchise. You know, as much as I hate the Cowboys, if you grew up a Cowboys fan, you have to just stick with them. Man. You okay. can't, you can't jump ship. Yeah. With the Chiefs, man. With the Chiefs. I mean, I don't blame you, but you can't do that. McCoy open. No. Easy. KJ Duff. Man. There you go. Man. We are looking He's cooking him. right now, man. There he is. KJ Duff, number five, comes in. Two catches. Seven points. Raw Miami getting going. Right away. He just released him, beamed it straight to the front pylon. Turned his head around, the ball was right there. I thought at first they were going to Luane McCoy there, because he was also open. KJ Duff, man, you put him in the game, you gotta use him. I'm excited to see his next year at the Orlando Magic. It's gonna be a good season. <laughs> <laughs> he was the banquero. Yeah, he really does a big taller. He was the on three MVP of day two 
of OT7 South in Austin. He had some unbelievable catches at big moments in games. He's cooking out there. And he, he might be the best red zone target here. Back to work for level 82. 11 to 9 game, 7 minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock. We've had a couple of close games here today. Yeah. We had a few of them. The one best of them. one that we saw, right. yeah, yeah, we're not going to talk about that one. But, you know, <laughs> I think the best one we saw earlier today was Level 82 having that really close game with SFE. SFE yeah. seemed like they should have oh, oh. oh. Broken up right there, but that was nasty. I'm not going to lie. It was Max got Redman on the coverage. He almost came down with that one. Almost got him one. He almost got there. And they would have took the lead with that one. You, you, you guys blitz in here? Yeah. Hey, guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Safety, come on. Come on. Big third down right here. Get a man. They need to get to the 25-yard line. They're blitzing, but they're not showing up. Oh, oh, he lost Sid the ball. ball. Mm. Bobbles the snap. Mm. And Raw Miami will tie up the score. It's 11 11. Ooh. 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 I think it's going to come back out, but man, there's something about being a middle linebacker with that vest on, bro. I like it. Gabe Williams just in the middle of that defense. He about to go to work, man. He about to go to work. That was tough, though. Just lost the grip on the ball. Ooh. <laughs> that coach is passionate, bro. I love this <laughs> Very. to him. Hey, don't forget, coming up after this, Low Pro facing off against Tony 4K. That will be our fourth and final quarterfinal matchup of the OT7 bracket. And then it's on to the semis, it's on to the finals, and we will crown the best seven on seven team in the country here in Los Angeles. Ooh, he was wide open. Wide open. Nobody around that boy. It looks like Raw kind of found a soft spot in the, uh, mm -hmm. in the zone here. Raw Miami, man, they're, they're a good team, though. They always make it deep. They made it to the semis in Orlando. They made it to the final in Austin. I think with Julian Sand, man, they might be the team to, to, to make it to the final. They might be. They might be. Yeah, they just always show up correct for Trillian. Depends what though. side of the bracket they on, though. Nah, they, they're, they're on the side without Lopro. Oh, so right. I, I, can see them right. meet, I can see them meet Lopro over there. Sand taking a shot. And he came out the shoe. He left the shoe on the field, too. Uh, they shot Montgomery. Oh, oh my God. God. What a throw by the number two QB in the nation. It's Julian right there. Take, Take that dime look. that he just dropped over the shoulder, bro. Give me that. Uh, he left hmm. the shoe on the field. Look at that shoe right there. Uh, I think I'll stay right there. Oh, my God. I think I'll stay right here. Both feet in. I think I'll use my credit card. <laughs> <laughs> the four-star wide receiver from West Palm Beach brings it in for seven. Raw Miami taking the lead. 16 unanswered points for Raw Miami. Four minutes left right here. I want to use my money drive right here, man. You can stop this mm. over anyway. Yeah, that's true. I don't know why they weren't thinking about that. We have a running clock up until the final minute. Both teams still have their timeouts left. I'm with you, Karen. I it wouldn't have surprised me if they used it, but I get why they didn't. They're still, Maybe they're trying to move fast. They're Maybe. trying to, and they are moving really quickly. Yeah. Tom, what's going on down there? Hey, fellas, I'm down here with Julian saying, you guys are whipping around a little bit now. You got to break this morning. How's it feel to get back on the field? Yeah, uh, it's great. Great to be out here. I mean, Sunday, not much better than it can be. Southern California playing some football. And you got a lot of wide receivers out here. Now KJ Duff's back in the mix. We got Lewayne McCoy. Who do you kind of like stack them up for me a little bit? Who are you looking for on big plays? You know, we got we got so many great guys. KJ, Nashawn, uh, Lewayne. Just a lot of options for me when I'm back there. And you've been kind of in and out of the roster a little bit. Do you know about some of these other teams that you're playing against? Or is every team kind of the same for you right now, the, the opposing teams? Uh, I'm not, I don't really know too many of the other teams. But, you know, we just come out here and play our game. Oh, all right. We missed you yesterday in the QB. Uh, you, did you see the, the drills, the guys are hitting targets? Would you have won that, you think? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, maybe we'll see. All right, Julian. Great job. Appreciate you, man. Good luck the rest of the way. Very humble guy, huh? Ooh, good call. Yeah, that's a nice grab. Brandon Finney Jr. on the catch. And honestly, and they were doing the interviews, so I didn't say anything. I thought there should have been a flag maybe yeah. on the play before. 
PI. Looked like it. I was actually, I was I wasn't in the booth for that one, but that, that California Power game. Mm. I thought that was a pretty. I, no, you know what? At first, I thought there should have been a flag, and then I saw the replay. I thought the refs got it right the second time. Sidwa oh, running. Sidwar picks up the first down. They were just outside the 10 yard line. So new set of downs. First and goal here for the Maryland boys, level 82. Baltimore. Baltimore. Was he in the hash? Stupid. Stupid. No, he ran us out of the hash. Take a look at this hey, beautiful, beautiful facility pro. down here in Huntington Beach. That's you. This field is so dope, man. So dope. Sidwar looking over the middle. Ty's oh, running out. Yeah. Oh, and Ellis he got Robinson was all over that one, too. <laughs> so we oh. haven't gotten a chance to talk about number 12 yet because guys very rarely throw over to his, his side, side of the field. But Ellis Robinson is the number one DB in his class. Wait. Ellis Robinson. Go Ellis one, Island, go one, go. number 12. Right you can just go. leave Malone on one side of the field. Yeah. Mm. It's, I heard I heard the coach say Wayne go where eight goes, so he gotta follow chains. CJ, go to the middle, CJ. You got one. Yeah, you really got CJ, Wayne you got one. on defense you got one. right now. Wild Keon, Wild Keon. Ooh, incomplete. Good defense right there. One more, one more, one more. One more. Clock is running. It'll bring up third hey, and mad, goal get mad, get mad. from the eight yard one line. More. Let's take another look at this one, D. One more. One more. Yeah, Wayne McCord on defense. He's, he's doing his thing, man. Yeah, now nah, he's strapped. He both sides of the ball. He's an athlete. I thought that might have been on him. Yeah, Wayne, go away. A little go bit. Way. I know you're going to defend uh, your boys from the crib, but you know. I'm Ooh. fine with the no call, but if they called that, it wouldn't have been that surprising. Here we go. Big play in the game. Oh Third God. down. Wow. Oh, he's Jesus. wide open. One more. Oh, my back. goodness. <laughs> Wide open, hey. Nah, they're not going for the one point there, but uh, nah. nah, they're not doing it. Nah, you can't risk it right here. You got to play for OT. Man. See, that's play why I'm taking the money. OT. I don't know why you didn't take the money, drive. You make a great point. Is this at me? I want to know what happened on defense here. Big time miscommunication. Man, Level 82's concepts, I feel like they create a lot of confusion. But there's, essentially, they just ran four crosses right there. Not just yeah. two, they ran four. They ran everybody across, and those guys are in the zone. Like, you're going to lose somebody. It's tough. Especially in that tight of a space. So Julian Sain takes over in a tie ball game with under a minute left. Let's see what he's got up his sleeve here. Does a man have a clutch gene in him? It's going to Bama. Let's see, man. He's going to need that at Bama for sure. Saban's watching. <laughs> I would love to think Nick Saban is you here in my Nick voice Sa right now. You think Nick Saban's watching this? Nick Saban is not watching this game. <laughs> There's Saban. the blitz. Throws it up. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Dangerous throw. That's complete. It'll bring up. I believe that's the first, first down. down. They're giving yeah, first they down. the first down. Inside first the 25 down. yard line. First down. Clock is ticking. They, they still have their timeout. Looking over the middle. Ooh, oh, what oh, the oh, the oh, anticipatory oh, throw oh, right there. Ten seconds left. They still have their timeout. Yeah, that ball was that. out before he turned his yeah. head. We that was an amazing throw. You're right, Karen. We talked about anticipating man. your guy being open. Wow. Yeah, that ball was out before his head was turned. That was beautiful. What a ball. That In was a beautiful. tight that window. Was hey, at least let me be Hey, no, 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 no. Karen, you made a great point with four and a half minutes left in this game. Go back here. Level 82 probably should have used their money job. Yeah. No, this will win. Well, okay. I, I don't completely disagree with it, though, because you're no. going to have to get a, a stop regardless. Right. You need Correct. a stop right now to win this game. Correct. You're going to need one before. First two. and goal from inside the five. Saiyan looking left. Wow. Oh, 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 Julian Saiyan was absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> Julian Sayan made it bro. look easy. Money. With six oh, seconds oh. left, they do still have their timeout, but it might be Hail Mary time. Man's was so level bro. too. That was beautiful. Jesus Christ. That was beautiful. We're on Miami making it happen. That throw to bring them inside the five yard line was arguably the prettiest throw I've seen all weekend. It was very pretty. Yeah, no, that was beautiful.
So they're going for the money drop now. I don't, uh, <laughs> I don't get it, but I, I guess. But they want to win. Yeah, I'll say this, though. They have a timeout left. The ball at. If they Don't try to, throw the ball at. they're not leaving any space over the middle. If they did leave space over the middle, I'm taking, like, an easy 15 yards right here, and then I'm calling a timeout. Yeah, just like this. You get touched, now I'm calling a timeout. No. With one call the timeout. second left. One second hey, remaining. Yeah, now who you look for? You, you know what? Though? You, you know who you got to look for. They're going to try to double him. Look for, number, know. Look for number eight. They're going to try to double him. They got KJ Duff on the field. They got LeWayne McCoy on the side of, of – they got LeWayne McCoy, KJ Duff on the field. They're still pretty much in He's Hail Mary that's a territory. You got to throw that chance. Throws it up. Oh. Oh. It up. No, sir. And Rob Miami. Miami moves on to the semifinals, knocking off the six seed, level 82, 25-18. Man, what a matchup. What a matchup. Started off kind of slow, but these teams quickly picked it up and had us ahead of a ball game. One of the divisional champions gets eliminated here, but hey, Ron Miami showed up to play. They're going to be a tough team to beat with Julian Say and Dyson people apart like that. Mm. Low Pro and 24K coming up next. Do not go anywhere. Level 82, hell of a run, but Raw Miami comes out on top, 25-18. The quarterfinals continue. Do not go anywhere for Tom, for D, for Kieran. I'm Overtime Day. Stick with us. OT7 Championship presented by Adidas. I didn't even mean to throw it. Got to keep your challenge flag somewhere safe, coach. That's a rookie mistake. Snickers, official chocolate of OT7. Overtime Tom here for a two minute drill. Before you celebrate, you've got to make a play. Otherwise, it'll be the other team doing the celebrating. A football team is only as strong as its weakest link. So remember, vapes can contain toxic chemicals that can irreversibly damage your lungs and the team. Let's head back to the action. Cuba. All right, we're back here. I'm Overtime Tom here with Coach Sue, Offense Coordinator Raw Miami. He's got a big win. How are we feeling? Feel good, feel good. Started off a little slow, but we feel good. Yeah, you mentioned starting off a little slow. You guys had that bye. Level 82's already played some games today. Was that a little difficult? Yeah, when you got that bye, you know you're sitting at the hotel and you're just chilling. So you got to come out here and start the engine again. It's like a car. You know what I'm saying? And talk about Julian saying your quarterback. He's been kind of in and out of the lineup. Talk to me about his game. Awesome, awesome. When you get a guy like Julian and he could come play for you for a Saturday, it's always great. Like, it's always great. He know football. He a Bama commit. That tell it all. Yeah. Facts, facts, facts. And you got a ton of receivers as well. Talk to me about that crew. You got KJ Duck back in the lineup today. Louie McCoy, obviously. Who else you got out there? Oh, uh, we got... Uh, uh, Devin that you just saw, you got Nation, you got Big Man. So all of them play the role and they do their thing. Like I tell them, it's not no one-man show. We got an inch and inch and drive, and that's what we did. And you'll be facing Boom in the next round, and they've had a couple great wins earlier today. What do you know about Boom? Uh, Boom playing hard. You know, when you got a team playing hard and they got the momentum, it's, you got to come up and have your big guns. It's just good we got this game out the way and we was ready to get going. So now it'll be a better game. Other than Boom, any other teams that you're kind of looking ahead to playing or anything like that? Any team that you're worried about? No, we never look ahead. You look at the task in front, you never ahead. All right, we appreciate it, Coach. We appreciate you very much. Hey, we got 24K and Low Pro coming up right now. Low Pro obviously has just dominated everything. They're 5-0. They also came to the Adidas Throwdown yesterday and dominated that. We had Mike Eugenio win the QB Showdown. We had this guy winning the Destroyings one-on-ones. It looks like they're winning everything. They're, coming, they're out in some new uniforms. Say we got them in all red. We got Micah Eugenio, Ty McCutcheon. I can't wait to see the squad. 24K though, no slouch. They beat pressure earlier. They got a cut. They've had some great games here. Can't wait to see it. Low Pro versus 24K. Day D Kieran. I'm hyped for this one. We get to see Low Pro play. Back to you guys. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the OT7 Championship presented by Adidas. Whee! We are here in sunny, gorgeous Los Angeles, California for a quarterfinals matchup between 24K and Low Pro. Yes, sir. The two-time divisional champs. 
They have been running through every single team, but 24K is gonna push them to the brink here. I'm joined by Kieran. I'm joined by Destroying. We have Overtime Tom down on the field. I'm Overtime Day. How we doing, fellas? Doing amazing. How about you guys? How do you do? How, How do you do? <laughs> I'm doing great, yeah. bro. I can't wait for this matchup. Take a look at how we got here for this quarterfinals matchup. Kieran, you want to run us through this bracket here? So right now we got Low Pro taking on 24K. They had to get a big win in the first round over, unfortunately, these Storm's <sighs> pressure. So these used to this team doing pretty well. The winner of this game is going to be going up against Trillium Boys in the next round. I cannot wait. I like the fact that Low Pro came out with the with the red uni. Oh. They went back to they went back to the original. Red, my favorite color. So they supposed to be getting his back in glove for us anyway. So you know <laughs> I what think it is. they might. I think yeah. they might. Low Pro won two of the four divisionals, and then yesterday at the Adidas Throwdown, Mikey Eugenio won the, the QB competition. Their safety, Aiden Manutai, won D's ones, and Lopro hasn't lost a game since OT7 West Whoa. in Phoenix. They haven't lost anything. They haven't yeah, lost a nah. single thing. They have a two, uh, two QB rotation between Ty McCutcheon, who is a QB now, a uh, three-star, and Micah Eugenio, Bishop Gorman. So we're going to see both of them right now. It's Ty McCutcheon, and both are dangerous, Steve. Mm. Great ball, great ball. They have to be the favorites at this point. I think they might be. I think they, <laughs> might be. <laughs> they have been unbelievable this entire tournament, man. And they played this team yesterday after we went off of air, and I, I was paying attention for like the first five minutes, and then I looked up on the, on the, on the scoreboard, and it was already 18-0. Mm. 24K? <laughs> no, yeah, they, they beat us. Not Jeez. out of 24K yesterday. Oh, did he make the move? He's got to get rid of it. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. What, what a catch. Oh What's that, Kaina? Nah, I think that's Titan right there. That's Titan. You get two blitzes, yeah, two Titan. QB rushes a game. It's hard to see their numbers, oh man. It, it is just about impossible to see the numbers. They brought the blitz. McCutcheon escaped and then hit Titan. Take a look at this. It was Titan McCaden. Oh, Titan McCaden. Ooh. Oh, come on now. Oh. And just found him. Diving what catch. What a grab, man. And he got an arm Dodging under it, so there was no question. These boys are something else, bro. They've been on one. Titan Dang. and Kaina, 22 and 25, probably the two wide receivers to watch out for. Also, uh, they have Austin ha uh, Angi. Hangi. He, he competed in the ones yesterday. He is it Haynes? Is Aston it, Haynes. I think it's Aston Haynes. Haynes? Aston Haynes. I thought it was Hangi. Yeah. <laughs> okay, my fault. <laughs> it's, it's definitely, definitely Aston. Aston. Yeah, not Austin. Definitely yeah. Aston. What's that, Austin? He's so Whatever Texas, Whatever he was man. doing, he was cooking yesterday. He's so Texas. Low Pro only has one four-star. It's Aiden Manutai, but everyone else... I mean, they only have they have three three stars, and everyone else. Low pro, low profile. Low, low pro. <laughs> it doesn't low matter. Pro. Corner, so, yep. looking to the corner, uh, just oh. overthrew him. I feel like while he was running, he's like, oh, he threw me too much. But then he tried to pick the speed back up. If he would have just kept his pace and dove, he might have been able to get a hand on it. But uh, you don't see time missing throws like that that often. Third down, they need five yards for the first down. Take another look. Yeah, he like yeah. slowed down a little bit. Yeah, in the middle of the end zone there. Yeah. Man. No pro. The third down here, though. 24 Big play in this work. game. They're going press coverage. Taking another shot to the end zone. Ooh, wow. flag. Knocked uh, down. We got two flags. But we have two flags. Holding. Holding He's going to be on the defense, the defense oh, man. That's the killer. script is working. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all see the script at 2 in the morning that we posted? I saw that. Was that, that. was that you, Tom? Who that was not me. That was not me. No, it was not me. Had to have been Tom. Had Over, to have been Tom. Overtime Lily was, was in her bag last night <laughs> and, and leaked the script. No shot. No shot it was Lily. Had to have been Tom. <laughs> if you didn't know, Tom is the one responsible for the clown post. <laughs> oh, that just post. Just that post. Wow. Okay. <laughs> we'll be posting ugly babies for the next month after oh my midnight. goodness gracious. <laughs> hey, keep your eye on Andre Porter, top of the screen. He's their biggest target. Instead, they're going over the middle. Down to the five-yard line. Andre Porter is a three-star. He's got an offer. Uh, his main offer is Minnesota Duluth. He's from Vegas. He's 6'2", 225. And he is by far their biggest guy. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that's a big boy right there. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. 24K is making Low Pro work. They, it ain't looking as easy as it usually looks for them. No, but I think I think Low Pro is the type of team that just they're okay with give, taking what you give them, man. You gonna make them work? I'll be okay. But they do make adjustments better than any other team, man. Just get better and better as things go. But you got a third down here. Another third down. I ain't never seen that they have this many third downs. <laughs> yeah, they got a third this down is the longest one. drive in OT7 history. This drive is pushing five minutes. It's also interesting that they're going press coverage because we've seen a lot of defenses. I mean, I know they're down in the red zone now, but this whole drive, we've seen a lot of defenses go press, and it hasn't worked out in their favor. It's working out right now for 24K. Here comes the blitz. Throws it. Oh, my God. He is down oh, short. short. Oh, I got to talk to this referee. Short. I think he's just short. They're there isn't much of an viewing. argument from low pro. I think they're reviewing, Let's guys. take another look, D. This is not the angle, guys. Th they're reviewing this play, man. It's not a problem. It's okay to review. That's why you have cameras, buddy. I'm pretty sure my spot. They're short. I like that answer. I think, I'm yeah, not I that think short. We short. should give him the touchdown. Yeah, we should, but they didn't earn it, so we're not getting Did you see the script on Instagram? Short. We're yeah, supposed to have low pro short. win. Oh, no. That's not, they're hopping like that. They earn everything they get out here. Up. Is it? <laughs> short. Look I think it's short a touchdown. What do you guys think? Touchdown? Oh, we have the official oh, call. See the screen. What do you think, touchdown? I, he's down I at the one. to see the call. He's down. <laughs> what do you think, touchdown? No touchdown. I made the call. Smile if it's a touchdown. No, help me. <laughs> you know. <laughs> We're waiting for the final final call here. Find touchdown or nothing. Take one more look. Fellas, we in agreement down at the one here? I think he's down at the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah hands on it. Yeah. yeah, he's down at the one. That was Jacob. Okay, G U D. -E. He sent this all the way back I, to New York. How are you pronouncing that last name? <laughs> G U D. Good. Good. <laughs> Good. Confirmed. He was short. It's a turnover on downs. 24K ball. Tack on two points for 24K. They will get the ball as well. And after a long drive, we are finally seeing the offense of 24K. D, explain the scoring for us. Scoring is pretty simple. You get a touchdown, you get seven points. If you go for the one point gamble from the 10, if you get it, you go up to eight. If you don't, you go back down to six. And on defense, Pitt gives you three. Turnover on down gives you two, like 24K just earned. Mm -mm -mm. Now, Kieran, this is our first time seeing the 24K offense in this game. Yeah. What should we know about their big QB that that D calls Jameis. Think about Jameis Winston. Jameis. Think about Jameis Winston, the FSU commit like out of the him. 2025 class. And he committed. Jamel FSU. Jones. Yeah, he's committed. He's he's a problem. He's a problem. He was he was cooking earlier today. Mm, yep. Unfortunately, I know. He was doing his thing. He was cooking up, putting the ball where it needed to be, taking off a couple of plays. So I don't know. It, hey, 24K. They got a chance here. I think if there's a team to beat them. You gotta, you gotta take low pro out right now while they're cold. They've been sitting at the hotel chilling all day. All the other teams been out here playing. I know. The momentum's going for them. That's Courtney Crutchfield, the four-star wideout, future Arkansas Razorback. He's arguably the best wideout on 24K. Keep your eyes on number 12. He's been making plays all weekend. And Kieran, I heard the 24-7 guy Gushing over him. Gushing over Glazing. him. Like Glazing. crazy. <laughs> it was crazy. But I'm telling you, he, he was he was he was saying that he's a he's a very highly rated kid, or he should be a, a, like even higher rated kid than he is. He's got high hips. He liked his frame a lot. He said that he's a track guy, played basketball. High hips. Did a bunch of stuff like that. High hips, you know? High hips is a very important high thing. High hips. I gotta get my hips higher, man. We got the know? same play here. Just flip around, guys. 24K coming out, not really showing Low Pro the same amount of respect. Is this the team that beat them in the very beginning? I guess so. I think we gotta go back and find out. And then that Phoenix, uh, in that Phoenix divisional, I think this might have been the team that, that actually beat Low Pro for the first time. I did talk to them 24K boys after we played them, and I told them, hey, Low Pro's coming. <laughs> They're like, don't worry, man. We got a game plan for them. Ooh. This is the first time that Low Pro has been trailing since OT7 South in Austin. Granted, they're only down by two, two right now. <laughs> yeah. But so far, Let's so see. far, they are technically losing. <laughs> what do you think about the sweatpants? Like like, like that idea for low pro. I don't know. I, I, think, I think shorts might work a little better here. Well, the shorts are cool, but you got to think the turf. Turf yeah. burns. I feel you, but I'm not worried about turf burns, bro. You got to deal with that. It's football. Yeah. football. Dude, that's tough. If I can avoid it, if it's I can avoid it, I'm going to avoid it. Yeah. It's football. <laughs> you don't think about it while you're playing, but when you get in that shower later, Oh, that's going to stink. Third down, they need to get to the 10. A little low. And that's going to be Incomplete. short. Lee, Ooh, the low pro game. defense stands tall. Low pro just locked down, man. And they will get the ball back. Look, low pro scores on everyone. We saw them put up points on every single team here. 
But in pool play, they won against SFE 37 nothing. So we know how good their offense is, but their defense probably needs a little more respect too. No, they, they, defense definitely needs some respect, man. They stay on everybody's hip pocket. Just like me whenever I'm guarding D. Mm. Is that so? Taking a shot. Is Ooh. that so? Good coverage. Oh, what the hell? Really you really good coverage, grab on the sideline, though? So Micah Eugenio <laughs> is... <laughs> Bruh, snag that on the sideline. That's crazy. <laughs> Get him in the game. Take another look. Micah hey, Eugenio is go in go at QB go now go for low pro. Grab. Ah, they zoomed in. You can see it. He is the backup QB at Bishop Gorman to Micah Alejado of Next DEF CON. Shiner. He's got a bunch of offers. Neck, yeah, I was going to say that. That $5,000 that you sent them for winning OT7 South coming in clutch. I told them I'd put another five up if they win. That Did might you? be the reason for the, for the yeah. slow. Oh, really? You yeah. said that's wow. Yeah. Really? That really? That might be the reason for the slow start. After eight and one yesterday, I told him, hey, bro, you know what? I'll put up another five if y'all go all the way. All right, Crazy. you heard it. Hey, Tom, what's going on down there? Hey, thanks, fellas. I'm down here at Time of Cutting. You might have to go in in a second to snap. We'll let you know in a second, but Back, you're in the you're in the playoffs now, right? Yes, sir. You've been playing great in the first couple days, but none of that matters anymore. How are we feeling today? Feeling good, you know. We just gotta come out here and execute. What's up with the pants? Uh, you know, we just rocking pants, being comfortable out here. You know, kill them comfortable. And you guys didn't score on that first drive when you were out there. I couldn't help but notice that when you were the offensive coordinator, you guys scored every single time. So we give you back play calling duties. Uh, Coach John got it. You know, they gotta use two blitz to stop us, so we'll be all right. And 24K, what do you know about them? Anything going into this, or is it really just? Uh, low pro. They're a good team, but we focus on ourselves. Can we get a championship today? Yes, sir. That's right, man. Tag McCutcheon, good job, man. Good luck the rest of the way. Appreciate you. Back to you guys. These boys are all business today. Facts. Oh, they're a lot of oh, oh, That's a crazy hold. Jesus Christ. This boy was hugging them. Yeah, that was a crazy hold. <laughs> I'm not going to so you watch number eight right here over the middle, the middle, coming across the quarterback right now. <laughs> Just Ooh, would not let go of him, bro. <laughs> that, that was Kensley Faustin, the four-star. We're getting very Auburn close in here, guys. I don't know if you can see us. We're huddled up. That type of contact is illegal in a few states, they, they man. This way, but I have him on, on pulling down, pulling this way. Because I have a ball, I had a hold on the offense, and he brought him down to the ground. So we're gonna okay, offset. So Doesn't call nothing. Waving it off because we're on both sides. Okay. What? We're gonna wave it off, fellas. What? Uh, We're going to wave it off. They're saying both guys held each other. Hey, we've given these refs a hard time, but after that one. No, they've been doing a great job. Yeah, no, they've been doing uh, a great I, job. I think they've been doing phenomenal. Yeah, they've been I doing a great job. I told them it was a great job. call. The, destroying things you've been doing phenomenal, ref. <laughs> Just letting you know, I'm not the one in here hating. It's Tom for the most part. Yeah, they, they, they ran up and checked some people. I'm not going to lie. It was pretty tough. Micah looking over. Oh, he over. made a shot! Oh, that's gotta be a hold. Oh my goodness! And not holding. He was pulling. Man, that's Ooh. that was bad. That was an ugly no call, bro. Look, that was an ugly. Look, look, the Seahawks back in the day, the they Legion of Boom. They used to just hey, hold guys every cool. single play and make the ref. Hey, watch the replay here, Mike. Throw the flag every single look at time. This post. Yeah, he's oh yanking. my gosh! Jesus Christ! How do you miss that? How do you no, miss bad. that? How that's do you bad. miss that? <laughs> that's really bad. Did he rip his shirt? How do you miss that? <laughs> hey, <laughs> chats. Uh, I'm sorry, refs. I got to let y'all have that one. L refs, man. <laughs> L refs. Need to Start get to the 10 yard line for a first down. Have to look deep. Time running out. And that will be a stop. Turnover on downs. Mm. Dinner! Stop shit! Dinner! I got the troll with me. <laughs> That's Duran Guilford, the troll, Dang. in your ear right now. Shut the fuck up. Let's go. Whoa. Hey. Whoa. Wow. We apologize for the colorful language. <laughs> hey, man, it's Father's Day. <laughs> it is Father's Day. Oh. Man, slow start for Low Pro here, though. I, know, I respect Coach, though. He said, well, don't celebrate yeah. until we score. Yeah. Trying to get something going here, man. 12 minutes into this game, we have no yeah. touchdowns. Hey, Bit of a surprise. Hey, listen, listen, no, no, no. Stop now, hit you. Hit oh, you gotta Josh get them now early before they the catch right, the on rhythm. On the right, on the right, on the right. I'm trying to that, Nick. Josh, you got it? Saying a stop now. Man. Back out, back out, back out. One, That's something. Let's see what Tramel can do right here. Easy, first down. Yep. That's Nareel White, four-star, another Arkansas commit. He's had a big morning already. 
two touchdowns earlier in bracket play. Man, the chat calling these rest some cheaters, man. Sheesh. I ain't say it, but the chat is letting them boys have it. That's pretty tough. That's pretty tough, especially for a team like Lopro. Taking a shot. Oh! Goodness. Almost brought that one in. That was Courtney Crutchfield. I don't care if he's yelling at you. Throw the ball to and he's the only fucking white kid on the field. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. My bad. Oh my bad. Look at the stretch and trying to grab that. You almost almost got that one right there. Oh I think it came, oh out, of, came out of bounds anyways, though. Hey, Chad, can we get an L Tom there? Hey, hey, we, we, we apologize. Look, nah, yo, the bleep live. guy got my back. I bet they didn't even hear it. You didn't hear it. If you thought oh, you heard it, I'm going to take the sack there. Time. Third down, money down. Time to do what I asked you to do. All the way through, he's coming. Do that shit when you roll up. 24K. I'm doing this shit. They're blitzing. Hey, listen, 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 listen. Y'all remember the double, the double pass? We went over the double pass. Oh, Six left bunch, double pass. Book, stalk, and go. Courtney outside. Yep, you guys on the bright side. Oh, uh, we got a little trickeration coming. Here we go. Here we go. Got a Watch little trickeration coming. They Stop need to get to the ten yard line for a first down. This is Stop essentially a fourth and ten here. Low pro showing blitz. Here's the screen. That's gonna Don't be wide open. It was wide open. Oh, he underthrew it. It he was wide open, man. Oh my God. What he saw? That's crazy. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Great oh, it's, play the, design. it's the gloves, he man. Threw a Great dunk play with design. the gloves is tough, bro. He threw a duck. Teddy Bridgewater with the two gloves. Oh the my coach. gosh. Look at the coach's reaction. Tough. No oh, that's tough, 24K. That's why you don't throw with two gloves on. Low pro still in the game. 4-4. Four, four. We've had a defensive battle. No touchdowns. No interceptions. <sighs> Just straps. Got another flag on the field here. It's against the defense, though. I think they're going to decline it. Man, straight deep. This is the best defense I've seen anyone play on low pro in a hot minute, man. So I think part of this, some help. I think part of this is that Mikey Eugenio's number one target all spring is Noah Macapule. Mm. He broke his collarbone in pool play. Mm, he did. He's getting surgery this week. They said it should be about like a two month recovery. So, so hopefully he'll be ready for the start of his fall season. But he's been the main target for low pro all spring. Sometimes scoring touchdowns, but also just moving the chains and, you know. Yeah. No, Eugenio Noah's always been their looks guy. for him, yeah. and, and they do not have number 10 today. So we hope Noah gets better. We'll see who replaces the they production. They still got dogs everywhere. Though. Oh, you yeah, got Kinda, sure. You got Aston. You got Titan. You got a bunch of guys. Shout out to Kinda, though, too. One of the smallest guys on the field. Oh, he took off. Running. Oh! Oh, he in there. Oh, he's, he's in there. In. That's he a tub. Eight That's goals. Oh my yeah, no. God! Ty touch him. <laughs> touch him? Did you get? I touched him. He's short. Nah, that dead leg was crazy. You kind of got juked though. <laughs> What's his name? What's his name? Who's your tongue? Which one of y'all got juked? Which one of y'all got juked is crazy, Tom. <laughs> you got juked? Man, that shit don't matter, dog. Uh, he look really, like he man. is seeing it. They saving these boys, man. Can we see that again? Can we see that one more time? It looked close. Ooh, it was close. Oh, he well, short, short. Short. You, did touch him. You, you, you touched him? You touched him. Oh, it's slow. I did touch him. It's slow. That like goal line angle. Here's another look. First and goal. Touch. Right yeah, he there. touched right there, right. just short. So this at like the mm. half yard line, okay, it'll be first and goal. I didn't know Ty McCutcheon had that in his back. Nah, neither did I, man. He wasn't moving fast, but he stopped on a dime, I'll tell you what. The three-star from Honolulu, 6'3", 185. First and a few inches. <laughs> First and a few inches. Yeah, it got hot out here. Keep your eye on number 22, that's Titan Lakaden. For his big target. Oh! Mm. Just out of the hands of Diesel Kamoku, will bring up second down. Oh, Forget about it. Jesus. These names are tough. Jesus. The low pro coach was telling me last week that when they're on offense, all they do is look at where the safeties are. Mm -hmm. Yep. He's not hard to find. He's a troll in the middle. There's a troll, <laughs> Duran Guilford. 
For some reason, he loves that head, bro. For he some <laughs> reason, he has it out for D. He's been talking a lot of trash to D. Hey, you know, man, when you're the best, they they target you, man. They don't boo nobodies. Right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Titan. Who called that? Touchdown. Who called that, kid? <laughs> he called it. Titan, the Caden. Five minutes Smile left in this game, wave, though. boys. Smile and wave. Five minutes left, and we have our first touchdown of the game. For it's a tight a, game, though. Tight game. For a chance to punch their ticket to the semifinals. Mm. 24K nice go, needs to tie up this ball game right 24K here. 24K got to go money. I think they, I think they should go money drive I right agree. now. Well, they're not. That's complete. I think a big part of it is in these clutch moments, the quarterbacks, you know, they're very specific about the footballs they use. Yeah. So that gold paint on the ball, I'm still complaining about it. Four tournaments in, <laughs> it's probably hard for him to really get get, get a, a hang nice with grip it, on his yeah. spin. Yeah, so they got to get the job done. Raw Miami Midwest Boom coming up next. Our first semifinals matchup. You are not gonna want to miss that one. Midwest Boom kind of feels like a team of destiny right now. Not gonna lie. And he dropped that one. Oh man. Mm. It's gonna be a third down and short though. Huge play in this game with four minutes left. Again. Running clock up until the final minute. Both teams yeah, still have their timeouts left. Both teams coming, still okay. have their money drives left. Let's go here. Low Pro still has Sword. one blitz right here, though, too, on third down. Hey, Tom, what are they running? Um, Just a lot of short short out routes, really, because the blitz is coming. I thought they might run a run or something outside, but here we go. They need to get to the 25 for first down. Here's the blitz, throws it up. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. And a that's me an extra point. Let's wait and see what the flag is. We got a flag here, though. It might be an illegal blitz. Yeah, on the oh, man. Did they blitz inside the hashes? Illegal rush on the defense. Oh, no, no, no. This yeah. is fine. No. The hash is right there. He's good. Where's the wing? Where's the wing at? Right there. You're right there. That's good. That's a good blitz. Hey, we, that, oh, double second. Double second. Upstairs, we, we, we got confirmation. Got, okay. Thank you. He's good. So we go wipe that off. Yeah, there we go. Wow. Hey, how is that? Hey, how is that? Okay. Hey, how is that? How is that? Why? He was not. Right. The kid came right here. Legit. Tell him we saw the replay. Get out of here. Get out of here. Tell him that in this moment. That boy over there. <laughs> he talking his he players. He kind of said you little. Now. Oh, my oh, no, God. That was a legal blitz. That was legal. Yeah, that was illegal. That was legal. That you was thought it was illegal? No, no, no. It was legal. Oh, okay. It was legal. He, he, was, he was lined outside the hash. Now, Mikey Eugenio with a chance to seal this one. What do you think is going to happen here? Mm. I think they're going... A lot of clock running now. I think 24K isn't going to see the ball back. Yeah, I think the same thing. Just make a smart lot of passes clock here right now. Low pro, they played probably the sloppiest game that we've seen in yeah. a minute. But yep. they're uh, they find a way to get it done every single time, man. Oh, they fixed the clock. They fixed All right, the clock. so three minutes, 27 seconds left. Both teams still have their timeout. Clock stops under one minute for out of bounds drops, things like that. Oh, again, a piece. <laughs> and low pro is starting to feel themselves. Oh, yeah. Mm. They're starting to get nervous. This is exactly what I said. You got to take advantage while you had them. You got two stops, back-to-back -back possessions on low pro. You're not going to get that again. The thing with low pro's play design, I feel like it's not a read type of thing because he had his eyes locked on that receiver the whole time. Mm -hmm. So maybe they drop all the routes so that that receiver comes open. <laughs> Yeah, I he think, never I think took his eyes off him. It's alignment, though. They, they they diagnose whether they're man or zone. They look at where the safeties are, and they're like, okay, I'm going to have this guy open Look, in eyes this on the, the guy. Oh, like, never mind. He comes off. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. The one time you pointed out, they're going to go through five out. different progressions. Yeah. On you. <laughs> yeah, Coach K up there. I know. No. Coach Destroy, man, I trust him. You know what I mean? <laughs> don't trust me. I don't know. <laughs> no offense. I'm a kicker. <laughs> <laughs> For real. <laughs> As Aston Haynes on the catch, Punahou High School in Hawaii. Who me? Yeah. The same high school as President Barack Obama. Crazy. <laughs> oh, what a route, Titan. Oh, my gosh. 
He's shifty, bro. He's nasty, dog. He's nasty. Titan the Cade. Titan is nasty, dog. These dudes are separation demons, bro. Like, that's just nasty. Just slams on the brakes here. Making all the sound effects. <laughs> All right, this is first and goal here from the 10 yard line. Eugenio drops back. Oh, he's got middle. it down in the middle. Two. Tom. Easy. Aston Hayes. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here, 16. There's some beef going on. Last year, Lopro was the Cinderella story. He punched me in the face. No one early. knew who they were. They were punched me in the face. And now, they score, they win, they talk. I told you I was going to get him back. He's not slapping me in the face. 21 4. Their defense the is pitching a shutout. Waterfall, waterfall. Can we call it a shutout if their four points came uh, off turnover on downs? Uh, I mean, they shut the offense down for yeah, sure. Yeah, they shut the right, offense down for I mean. sure. Yeah, but I, you can't call it a shutout here at OT7 unless you do what they did to SF. I don't know. You know Lopro I mean? Lo Lo hasn't given up any points? No, nah, the defense has been lights out. But, uh, yeah, the defense hasn't given up any points. You can say that. Oh, that was a really bad false start. That Jesus. was a really, really bad false start right there. Jesus, 24K falling apart now. Yeah, no. Well, 15 they yards on the field. They had it for 15 minutes. They were in it, man. They had the ball. They had an opportunity to go down the field, tie the game, or even take the lead, man. And it gets ugly that quick against a team as well coached as low pro. Their window was open, and as quickly as it was open, it was as quickly as it closed. That's man. a sack. That'll bring up third down as we approach. Timeout 24K. Okay. I don't know for what, but this is their money drive. It would, I mean. It's, there's no point. Because yeah. then Low Pro is going to come out. Even if they were to score right here, then just run the ball. Yeah. So, exactly. It's dead for them. Man, 24K shot up and they played, though. I know. They played, I though. told you, uh, Low Pro is going to get it back in blood for us. Hey, Appreciate Tom, is Low Pro <laughs> about to win this whole thing again? I've been saying that, and I think they knocked the rust off a little bit. Raw had the same problem. I feel like the buy kind of hurts you. I feel like if there's straight. a team to take out low pro, it's Raw. Mm. That's it. But I think, I don't know. We'll see. Before it started, I said my pick was low pro, but I said if low pro doesn't win, I was in on Cali Power. They have been eliminated. Who was your guys' pick? Low pro for sure, but if not low pro, um, I don't know. I don't know. Trilly looking good. You, yeah, I think it's either low pro, Trilly, or raw. Boom's, Boom is going to play raw next. I'm interested to see what happens. But Trilly, Trilly has so much defensive talent here that I'm I'm really interested to see what they do. Because they, they had a close game against low pro, what was it, Friday? Oh, take a shot. Oh, my goodness. I thought he caught that one. <laughs> bro, Kaida's got ups, bro. Oh, we, no. Can we get a replay of that, bro? He got up there, bro. Oh, my. He's only, but he's twice his size, and he, he got up there with him. He's only five foot three. He has a binky in his mouth. Look at that, bro. What he gets look up at the there, height, bro. bro. Whee! Bro, look at him floating, dog. What? Hey, God. Dan, you want to know something, Dan? Talk to me. We got Bunchy Young in the building. He's going to be joining me in about 30 seconds. So <laughs> Bunchy Young is here, and he has a surprise pick for who's going to win this whole thing. Go. Let's, go. Okay. Let's go. Low Pro wins this one to move on to the semifinals. They defeat 24K, 25 to 4. Low Pro just doing what they do. It, it did not come easy in the beginning, but they got it done as they seem to always do. For Tom, for Kieran, for Young Destroying. I'm Overtime Day. Semifinals coming up next. Raw Miami Midwest Boom. Do not go anywhere. OT7 Championship presented by Adidas live from LA. Joey, you're running a button hook, all right? Tommy, back quarter fade. Billy, you're gonna pump fake and then hit. Coach, you don't remember my name, do you? I got 12 touchdowns this year. That's a rookie mistake. You're gonna hit Nick. Nick, that's who you're gonna hit. Snickers, the official chocolate of OT7. Overtime Tom here for a two minute drill. Before you celebrate, you gotta make a play. Otherwise, it'll be the other team doing the celebrating. 
football team is only as strong as its weakest link. So remember, vapes can contain toxic chemicals that can irreversibly damage your lungs and the team. Let's head back to the action. What's up, what's up, what's up? Overtime Tom here, I am joined by the man, the myth, the legend, the prodigy, Bunchy Young out here. How are we doing over here? I'm doing good, man. Just watching everybody compete. Just watching the auto athletes to see who's going to win at the championship, bro. We got Boom running out behind us right now. <laughs> they're, looking, they're looking pretty hype. You know anything about some of the teams that are out here? Um, yeah, I know. Actually, I play for Trillion, so I know about Trillion. I know about Raw, but I don't know much about the other teams. You think Trillion boys been kind of like, yeah. they're doing a good job so far. You think they can win? Uh, yeah, I think they can win. I think they can make a big run. I think it's going to be low-key. It might be Trillion and Raw, like, for the last for the last game. We're about to see Raw right now play against Midwest Boom, but before that, we used we just watched Low Pro play. They've been the favorite, actually. Yeah. Five and zero. Oh, they've been yeah. well. Now they're six and zero. Oh. They're guys from Hawaii, guys from Vegas. You know anything about them? You see yeah, them play I, out here? Actually, I played. I played against Low Pro. They, that's a really good squad right there. I think they go take the whole thing. Low key. I got. I got Trillion going. I think it's gonna be Trillion and Low Pro. Cause they in two different brackets, right? I think they are. I think yeah. they are. That's a good point. That's a good point. Now a little bit more on Low Pro. Austin Haynes, one of the best receivers on the squad. We're gonna get a little mic'd up package from him right now. And then we'll be back with me and Bunchy. I'll see you in a little bit. Yes, sir. Look at that! Look at that! Oh! Get out of here, boy! Yeah! All right, we are back. We just watched a little bit on Aston Haynes, one of the top players on Low Pro. I'm back here with Bunchy. We're about to see Midwest Boom against Raw. You said you met, you know a little bit about Raw. They're from Miami. What do you know about them? I know that, um, I just know a couple of players. I know Wayne. I know they got Julian Sand, which is like the top quarterback in the nation right now. So I, they got a good chance to win him, bro. I think they're going to do some big things. I feel like you've worked out with some good quarterbacks in the past. Yeah. You're just working out. Who are some of those guys? Uh, so I worked out with the um, the quarterback from uh, UCLA right now, Justin Martin. Justin Martin. I worked out with him. I worked out with Malachi Nelson. So, yeah, I think, and honestly, Julian Sand got that type of talent. So I think they're going to go crazy. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And Midwest, boom. One of the top top teams out here as well. What do you think about their uforms real quick? I love the uniform. I think they got the best uniform out there. They and truly got the best uniforms. Hey, fire. All right, can I get a quick pick? Mid Midwest Boom versus Raw, who do you think is going to win? I got Raw. All right, we got Raw. D-Day, Kieran, take it away. We got a great game coming at Me and Bunch are going to be chilling all day. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Welcome to the semi-final round of the OT7 Championship presented by Adidas. It is gorgeous out here in Southern California, and we have an unbelievable matchup. Midwest Boom versus Raw Miami. I'm Alex Overtime Day. I've got Destroying and Kieran to my yo, right. Yo, yo. Overtime Tom down on the field level. Hey, what's I up to you guys real quick? Bunchy <laughs> joining yeah. the booth in a oh moment. God. We yeah, have bro. a great semifinal matchup coming up. Yo, how you doing? How you doing? Yeah, boy, you got, you got we, we, we have a headset for him? Yeah, I'm saying he didn't get tall. So, yeah, Put a headset got on that boy, Put a headset on. Right we got Midwest Boom, Raw Miami coming up. Semifinal matchup. D, let's take a look at how we got here. Oh, man. It's a great break. We got Midwest Boom versus Raw Miami and Low Pro versus Trillium Boys. Somebody is going to the finals. It's gonna be a good one, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Midwest Boom beat Cali Power and Legends to get here. Raw Miami, who is starting with the ball right now. We'll get to them in a second. It is Julian saying show right now, the future Alabama QB. And we are underway. Taking a shot. He's taking a shot deep. There's, a, holding. Holding. There's, There's a flag holding. on that first one, too. Already taking a shot. First game with a. First you game. said you got Raw? Raw Miami Yeah, I got Raw, bro. I got okay. Raw. Okay. Oh, a little bit. Yeah. Okay, we got it. It was like back and yeah, forth. Yeah, of course, of you course. You from Cali though? Ain't yeah, it? I'm from Cali. Okay. But that's why I got I got low pro taking this whole thing, yeah, bro. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I got low pro. Then, then I think it's gonna be low pro versus Chili because I play for Chili, so, so oh, I gotta give it to Cali. Yeah, yeah, yeah I play for Chili first. Bunchy, how yeah. tall are you now? I'm five nine and a half, like five ten. That's my height. You're okay. Grow man. Yeah, that's yeah. my height. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, bro. <laughs> and it grew. Twenty-two Man. minute running clock here up until the final minute. 
Raw Miami beat level 82 in the, so they had a first round bye, then they beat level 82 in the quarterfinals. Midwest Booms played one extra game today. Kieran, you've talked a lot about Julian saying the future Alabama QB, class of 2024. 24. What impresses oh. you most about, about Julian? Let's go! I think it's the composure, man. Hey, it's the composure and then also the anticipatory throws. Holy we saw that throw last time. Yeah, that was crazy. Dog, it was, it, they needed that drive more than ever. That was the last drive of the game. They needed to go down the field and score, and he threw that. <laughs> you know what I mean? He got rid of it before the quarter, uh, the receiver even turned his head. Yeah. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, oh, that's another oh, one just like that. He's just like that. Oh, oh, told y'all. Dodge, dodge, dodge. 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 Julian Sane is like that, man. Wait, 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 what's the sunny? What's the sunny? What's the sunny? Ooh. Hey. Ah, ah. Boys, always got a new dance. Cortez oh, job, Mills in the oh, corner. Man. Cortez the killer tech on seven. Hey, bro. I told y'all, Raw got something, bro. Yeah, now Raw is Raw. Raw, Raw's a scary team right now. Hey, man. Raw's a scary team. Hey, man. Hey, you know, I got Chili, bro, but you know they haven't got over the hump with beating Raw yet. No, nah, not yet. Yeah, what are they, like, 0-3, 0-4? Yeah, they're 0-4 against them. They're 0-3. Okay, you'll either have flat or you have deep third. Okay, well, high-low that one on quads now. So Corn, whoever that is, you're high. JoJo, you're low on it, understand? So he doesn't do an in route from you or a dig. He doesn't do a vertical for you, understand? So captain adjustment on quads. The only scheming thing over there. Now you go down, okay? That's head coach and defensive corner Midwest Boom coach JR. He told me last week they have more defensive schemes and SEC defenses. He That's said, what he yeah, said. 37? <laughs> he said different they have coverages? 37 yeah. different coverages. That's insane, bro. How do they even remember that? How do they even how do they you don't. remember that? That's insane. I, I know they break coverage every single time. Bro. Oh, five, five. Five. Nah, yeah. Man, he had Wes Welker right over the middle, man. Yeah. You got to hit Wes Welker when you got him. Where your team at, D? I don't want to talk about it, man. <laughs> Where your talk talk pressure at, bro? I don't want to talk about good, it, man. Good we question, they, 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 Good question. They've been selling, bro. What happened? We sold this tournament crazy. What happened, bro? We sold so bad this uh, tournament, uh, uh, man. It's kind of embarrassing. Uh, 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 come on, bro. They came out with the coolest uniforms you saw, yeah. bro. Yeah. It was, it was Coach funny. OTB was turned. Now bro, what? Now. That boy's blood vessel is about to pop. All bad, bro. All bad. <laughs> It is what it is, man. It is what it is. We might see y'all next season. We might not. We'll see. Yes, sir. So, Alessio yep. Milio Jevich, oh, Tom, help me with the name there, is the QB for Midwest Boom. He's a three-star. He makes some throws that you cannot believe. He makes some mistakes that you can't believe. You got to live by it. You got to die by it. Midwest Boom, always a fun team to watch, though, D. Midwest Boom, now. I love them. I love how hype they get. They be throwing the money yeah, around. They say Boom, B word. You know, I don't want to uh -huh. say it. But now nah, they be turned up. Hey, meet up on Mike for a captain. Man, nah, and he's listening now. They put her back a three star, right? Hey, let's go, boom, three convert, star. He convert. got offers from Ole Miss, Nebraska, yeah. Marshall. He, he Where would you go if you had the hey. offers, my boy? You hey. said OU. What would you say? Ole Miss, Ole Nebraska, Miss. Marshall. What? I'm going to Nebraska. Oh, that was a nice trick. Oh, Hell yeah, boom, got it. That's the thing I got it. Get it. Get it. They were oh, short. Wow. Short of first down right, yardage. Go, go, go. Are we good? We're good. Yeah, yeah. That was a, a nice What are you talking about, man? And Raw Miami that, is tough. They thought that little sneaky, deep yeah, shit was going to work. Florida boys, man. Can't run between the hands, though, boss. I know they can do that. Man. And that's a nigga run. Over here. Yeah, the Florida boys, you always turn. Nah, they talk, man. They talk. I'm telling you, the, the swag is back on the sideline for Raw Miami. They got their quarterback. Before, before Julian showed up, they weren't talking as much. No, I'm not going to lie. through the hands. I remember, yeah, because didn't they go like 0-3 on the first day? They went 0-2 yeah. on the first day. No, yeah, they showed up next day. I, I think, think it had to be that jet lag, bro. And also, they, oh, like you said, they didn't have that. You've been watching, huh? Oh, yeah, bro. You've been tapped in. I had, yeah. I've been mean, on YouTube, bro. I've been seeing y'all. Speaking of YouTube, I know it's 5.4 thousand of y'all in here Can right now. Like the, the stream. Can Blow we up the it? chat. Stop we the watching. Clock. We tapped in. Whatever thoughts, opinions, and comments y'all got, leave them in the chat and we gonna, you feel me? Tom, how are you doing down there? We haven't heard from you yet. Yeah, he ran up the middle? Yeah. Oh, he's with the ref. Oh, sorry. He's going to coach on the field, big guy. No, he's not a running back. Bang, bang. Nah, yeah, I've been, uh, I've been tuning in, bro. Uh, Kali Power. Oh, my God. Oh, that was looking good. I, yeah, bro, they was looking good the whole time. I couldn't believe that, man. And they lost. It was a complete opposite of what they what they did in the divisionals, too, because they played really, really bad in pool play, but then they would show up in and, and I y'all said that. Y'all say, like, a day, one day they do good, Absolutely. the next day they Yeah, exactly. Like, they, they were usually not really good. He can technically 
he's the quarterback taking it from the from the from the center okay, position. Okay, okay, That's what I'm good saying. There. Okay. So so he can run. I didn't see if he ran up the middle illegally. He didn't. If he ran up the middle illegally. He ran up the middle. Then that's an illegal run. No, then that's the call. And hey, 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 it's, it's confirmed he was outside the house. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he outside. Was outside. Oh. Yeah, he ran. Well, he out. Look, well, So then so, he was hey, short, and we're not taking away a blitz. It's gonna be. Hold it's on. gonna be a run, not a blitz. Got gotcha. Run, no blitz. Got gotcha. you. There we go. No, I go no talk to both teams. You got your run. They don't get a blitz. You, per them, there's no blitz. We're not debating it. Get off no, the field. Just why? We're not debating it. Help. Get off the field. No. Get off the field. No, no, they use a blitz. But. Don't let them get this wrong. He, he's the quarterback. They rushed. The no, quarterback. Key, the, he was the quarterback. Uh -uh. We got some controversy. I ain't gonna lie. They low key no, 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 did no, no, blitz. Listen, listen. So they yeah. Right. <laughs> they low key did. They blitz. They, they, they blitz. No, oh, they did. Oh, they because it was a run, I think is what they're saying. They're saying they're that they're you guys go, watch go, review. Go, watch review. Count, I'm right here. Watch the review, please. You've been reviewing other things. Review this. Bob Chi, we thank you for your time joining yes, us sir. in the booth here. What do you guys think about it's these coaches? It's been great having mind. you join uh -huh. as we get this sorted out. We'll Good catch up with you more you after the game. Yes, sir. Are your coaches crazy or the Midwest Boom coaches crazy? Our coach is definitely crazy. <laughs> Our coach is definitely crazy. <laughs> Our coach is definitely <laughs> hey, can we get you the like it? You like it? You respect it? Uh, I, I fuck with it. I, I mess with the heavy. I ain't gonna lie, that was a blitz, man. It looked like a blitz. I'm not the ref, though, so I can't make the calls, but... If they look at it, I know. he honestly is. The same way they've seen that he rushed outside captain, the Captain, captain, captain! Xavier, go! Xavier, go! Got the, I got the score, don't worry about that. Xavier, go! It is loud down on the field right now. A little yeah, miscommunication. I got a headache, yo. Tom, you've been right in the action there. What's the atmosphere like between the coaches and the refs? Honestly, the coaches kind of like each other. They just hate the refs. You don't need to go! <laughs> They're like all together about hating the refs. They don't care who it is. <laughs> Logan, Logan, Logan. There's good vibes. Julian yeah, saying is very chill. Yeah, it, it seems like nothing's really bothering him. Yeah. So Raw Miami, we were talking about Julian saying they have a ton of weapons on the outside. Luane McCoy, Nashaw uh, Montgomery, but right now Midwest Boom. Scrap. Third and long here. Has him at a third and long. Hey, third and fifteen. No, go this Blitzer way. Blitzer has a blitz right here. Oh, Even though there's 17 no, minutes left in this game, I think you really need to get this stop right now before this game gets ugly. Hey, he got 37 coverages, so do you just trust your defense? I mean, hey, if I, if I had 30, if he really had 37 coverages, then I think he would trust your defense. Also, I got hitches. That's how I got seen. You right here, you got a three-yard slant. Yeah. Outside hitches, inside seams, and somebody else got a three-yard slant. They need 15 for the Lorraine first yard line. Keep your eye on number two. That was terrible. And that will not get it done. They brought the pressure though. Tag on two for Midwest Boom. And they are in position I right there to tie it up. Crazy on that sideline right now. <laughs> Karen, talk to me about this play. <laughs> I mean, you had the blitz come in. They didn't have enough time to let everything develop, you know. They sent two guys on seam routes, two guys on the, on the slot, one of them being LeWayne. But, you know, smart use of a blitz there by Midwest Boom. They needed the ball back desperately right there before this game really got out of hand. So, just like that, they're right back in it if they score on this drive. Keep your eye on number one and number two on this drive. Time running out there. That's oh, Talon Taylor and Amarion Stewart, two four stars. They've been balling out. They're teeing up, man. They are teeing up. Two great defenses, man. Scrap. I feel like when you say seven on seven people, uh, seven on seven football to people, they think it's just offensive fireworks every single game. But then you watch OT7, there's a lot of defense. These aren't, you know, sometimes we get high scoring games, but as good of offensive prospects as we have here, we have some defensive stars as well. The first couple of games we've had here have been very defensive. Even with the low pro mm -hmm. one, that was a very defensive heavy game. Alessio's got to get rid of that one. There you go. He finds his guy, Nico. There so, we go. so one thing I found interesting, guys, number 12 for Raw Miami. Yep. That is the number one DB in the country, Ellis Robinson, a.k.a. Ellis Island. What I've noticed is he just stays on the left side of the field. He covers whoever's over there. He's on his island. Midwest Boom has had Talon Taylor and Amarion Stewart over on the other side almost every time. Mm. I, if I was Raw Miami, I would consider 
having you know Ellis Island move around a little bit. Yeah. Instead, he's mostly been covering Nico right, Bertolini, who is not the same caliber of wide receiver. No offense, because Nico's a great player. We've seen him make some big scoot. plays. He's wide open right there. Why are you talking, Tom? Oh my God. Oh, what are you talking, Nico. Dave? Nico. Why are you talking? Nico. What caliber of wide receiver oh. is he? And he's hitting the worm on you, Dave. <laughs> Shut it up, Dave. Shut it up. What That's what I'm wrong. talking about. The fastest player in OT7 is Coach wrong. said. I was wrong. That's 4-3 speed right there. I was wrong. He said, stop talking. Stop talking, Dave. I was wrong. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I said Nico's too, good, but he doesn't have four Alessio. stars. He doesn't have four stars. And by the way, the that was stars a hell don't mean nothing. That, that was a hell of a catch. Right and right and the worm. Oh my god. And that's the cleanest worm I've That's the cleanest worm I've ever seen. He was killing that, bro. Oh my god. Shout out, <laughs> shout out to the, <laughs> the slow mo cam on there, too. Oh. Nico's gonna be pissed at me when he hears the broadcast back. Nico, Nico, it's all love. I just said Amarion Stewart, you know? He's Amarion Stewart's a four star, you know? Dijon! Tom, what's going on? Inside. Tom's about to instigate this, I know. Thanks, it. fellas. I'm down here with Alessio uh, Milivojevic. Did I get it right? That's exactly right, yep. You just do an absolute dime down there. Tell me about your receiver, tell me about the play, what happened? Yeah, you know, so it was third down, so there was a risk of a blitz. Fake jet snapped to me on ghost, and I saw Nico running free, threw it up, and he made a play. And tell me about that uh, that celebration. None of us knew it was coming, to be honest. He's quiet, you know. Nico makes plays when he needs to, and he just made a play like that. Uh, excuse me, sir. <laughs> I just saw a little, a little worm action. Yeah. Uh, that's just something I've been doing ever since I was young, you know. Thought I would bring it out to the field if I scored. Why didn't Alessio get in on it with you? I don't know. Where were you at? I can't do it. I can't at? dance. Come on, bro. I can't lie. I can't dance at all. Now, a lot of people say you're actually the fastest player out here. Facts? Yeah. I am probably the fastest, if not one of the fastest out here. What's the 40 looking like? Just about a 4-4. Four, four. Oh, wow. Yeah, what's your 40? <laughs> Back to the game. Good job, fellas. Good work. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Midwest boys. And in the time of the interview, Midwest, boom, is down on the seven-yard line. Let's go, D. By the way, Alessio pretty much said the same thing I did. He's a great player, but he said he makes plays when he needs to, you know? <laughs> mm, crazy. He's a great player. Crazy I love hate right now. Crazy. He's awesome. Hate. Talon Taylor and Amari Stewart are four stars. You know? Crazy. Hate. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Saying looking oh, left. Man. Oh, Ooh. what a catch. God. Ball Ooh. placement was Nation. elite. Sean Montgomery with oh, the strong hands. <laughs> Hey, I, mean, this, I don't do? know how you stopping Julian saying what right now, bro. Do? I don't know how you stopping that. That was a rocket. They got talented wide receiver. They got a super talented quarterback. I, I don't know how you do it. Jesus, that's Great amazing. ball placement, man. Oh, my God. Hey, keep going. Alabama, you got yeah, you another one, bro. Fast. Fast. You got another one. Hey, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Nasha Montgomery, the four star in the class of 2025, offers Miami USC Ole Miss. Six foot 160, strong hands. Let's go, he's got a guy wide open down. Oh, right through the hands of West Walker, Carter. Chat, let him know. Make him bend. Let him know, chat, How to him um, and or type him in the chat right now. Side. Everyone else, they try That's to hit that crazy. one side. So especially the mic, you got to get out you there. You need those, play, man. Play you need rebound those. three underneath two. You okay, need those. Right. Oh. Uh, mm. uh, we seen some drops catch. hurt today, too, yeah. man. Yeah. Straight up hurt. Got to finish your breakfast. Uh, yeah, we saw the legends drop the, mm -hmm. a touchdown on yeah. a dime, too, bro. Ugh. Uh, it hurts, no, man. It hurts. Nine and 16, 10 minutes, 45 seconds left. Alessio, nice throw. Yeah. That's Talon Taylor, six foot 165, number two ranked yeah. athlete in the class of 2025 in the nation. Nice. Is it third down or did they get the first? They got the first down. Barely picked up that first down right at the five yard line. Yeah. So I'm gonna keep with silver. Chasing seven Double points here. Touchdown will tie the game. I like this matchup at the bottom here. Miles versus Ellis Island. But Alessio wasn't even looking that way. There's Amarion Stewart, the four star, who just committed to Michigan on Friday. First OT7 commitment, bro. Yeah, that was dope. That was dope. He had a Wolverine, man. I think that was his, like, that was dad. That was his dad? I think that was his dad. Hey, I ride just as hard for my kid, bro. I'll be honest with you. You got to.
You got to. Dress up like the Wolverine, man. That was sick. <laughs> that was tough. Someone in the chat said OT7 needs younger divisions for the little ones. That'd be fun. Over the middle. That should be pretty fun. Uh, that would be. You. Hey, hey. you need all the level 82 kids no. out there <laughs> playing for oh, level Tory 82, Smith. man. It's too easy, man. Too easy. <laughs> <laughs> if you want there to be a lower division of OT7, go DM the OT7 Instagram. Let's hit that high low. Look for the Lily will make sure to hit you back on there. <laughs> we have over 6K viewers. Y'all got to like the stream up, man. Like the stream up. Second and goal from the two yards line we got a tight formation here one over the middle what a game of job done man what a catch boom came here to play them and ron miami he started off as a defensive battle now we got a little bit of a shootout going on found this man amarion coming open at the back of the end zone these have been some tight games man some tight games Let's Take a look. look. Alessio cooking right now, bro. He's cooking. Look at Mario. Boy, the... Slime. Stop, D. Slime. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how Raw Miami answers. That's oh, a good one. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, what could they possibly be arguing? I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> He's right here. Take a look at the commitment on Friday. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. They, Marion Stewart, they a arguing that Joe, Joe, the referee Joe. that made the call, it's not his call because he's in the back of the field. Yeah. Well, we were standing, we're sitting close back. to where he is, and we saw the same thing, and it was an obvious call. KJ. There's KJ Duff, the tight end wideout from Long Island, New York. That boy tried to get shifty. I'd be, I'd be surprised if he took some ankles. Nothing against them, but you know, the big bodies, they move a little slower. They got what different skill hey, sets, man. Y'all not as fast Logan. as us. Hey, Who's no. Hey, I ran 4-2. 4 2 what? 4 Your man, your man. 4 2 20. I ran four steps and two jumps up to the refrigerator to get my meal. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. Oh, man. You want that? First down here for Raw Miami. Just over seven minutes left. Tomas, what's going on on the field? Hey man, I'm down here with Marion Siri. Just scored a quick little touchdown there. How's the game going so far? I mean, you know, it's tied right now. We need D to get this stop. Their offense do the rest. And talk to me a little about that touchdown you just had. What was the play? What everything happened down there? I'm pretty sure y'all seen that a few times. That's the bread and butter right there. <laughs> <laughs> and you just committed to Michigan uh, Friday. Congratulations. What's the last 48 hours been like ever since you made that decision? Hey, I'm a Wolverine now. Phone been blowing up. But I'm just trying to win this championship real quick, so I ain't even worried about all that right now. You think we got Coach Harbaugh and J.J. McCarthy watching uh, watching the stream right now? Yeah, I hope so. They're going to see what's coming in the future, so I hope they is. And last but not least, what do you think about uh, your, your teammates' uh, little worm celebration? Nico, Nico crazy, so that, it was crazy <laughs> to see that. He don't talk, so the fact that he just did that, that was a lot. All right, man, go get a win. Appreciate you. Back to you guys. An unusual right on point throw. <laughs> yeah. He went, through, he went through all his progressions right there, though, too. He just came to that last one a little bit late. I think, think Saiyan thought his receiver was going to go hey, up Joe, the Joe. field, and he just settled Harley, there in the flat. Harley. Well, we got a big Harley third five. down Let's here, go. boys. Yeah. Big third down. Hot dog! I will say here this, though. Tom, Tom uh, or actually, no, Day, it was you. You had a vibe came with Amarion the very first game of the day. Mm. And you, he was. He said he was gonna score a lot of touchdowns today. You know? He did. And, and he did. He I think he said minimum five. <laughs> he said minimum five. I think he's at like three or four right now. So. Let's see. Maybe we got more in store. Keep your eye on the Wayne McCoy. We haven't seen him much today. Number one. Here comes the blitz. blitz. Oh, oh, KJ. Oh, 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 Favorite. Oh, oh my God! It's New York in the building. <laughs> hey, I'll let you talk more about New York football if they keep making plays like that. What a catch! Get up! Strong hands too. I'm not having that The six foot five tight end slash wide receiver from oh Long Island, God. New York. Big nah, one of the catches oh of the my day. God. Jeez. Boom, using their blitz, and they beat it just like that, dog. What? Nah, he earned that, boy. <laughs> he earned that one. 
Oh, 14. Oh, never mind. I thought his route was a corner oh, route. Okay. You need to play more aggressive on the out. Jesus Christ. Stream like it up if you think that was a blur. That was a crazy <laughs> catch, bro. <laughs> Todd, what's going on? Hey, we're down here with KJ Duff, one of the best plays of the day. Talk me through that little play just now. You know, it was third down. You know, they were blitzing, so you just have to put it up. Put up, I went, I went and got it. Over two defenders? Two. That's right, yeah. And the ankle's a little bummed out right now. It didn't it didn't matter on that. Yeah, it's still good. I'm still going. Best jump ball receiver in, the, in, uh, in high school right now? Yeah, definitely. I say so. Talk about playing with Julian saying Alabama commit one of the best players in the country. How's that been? That's, it's, it's perfect. You know, every ball you throw is right, right where it needs to be. So it's good, yeah. Definitely. I meant. This man just had one of the best plays of the day. Appreciate you, KJ Duff. Back to you guys. Him and Julian saying it's going to be a tough little combination going forward. Mm. Luane, KJ, Cortez, Ellis on defense, bro. Ooh. Mm. Bro, man, it's going to be a tough team to beat, especially if they make it to that championship. It might be low pro or trilly, and we going to find out. Three and a half minutes standing between Raw Miami and the championship game. Alessio trying to tie it up. Ooh, Ooh. kind of a quick three Still seconds. Good. Still grab. Don't forget, coming up after this, we have Loco and the Trillion Boys. Lopro and the Trillion Boys coming up next. Second down. Yeah, here we go. Hey, we're gonna. I can't wait for that one. We're gonna motion. Hey, here we go. We're gonna we're gonna motion this way. Carter, give me the corner post. Give me the wheel. You mo roll out. To right. Corner post. Let's see if that corner post hits. Carter. My boy five. Carter. Ball boy going to five. Ball going to five. Everyone at the bottom of the screen rolling Actually, right, rolling mind. up the middle. Picks up the first oh. down. Though. First down inside the 10 yard line. Hey, Alessio came over to me after the interview earlier. He's like, hey, I do run a 4 8. <laughs> So, there I you mean, go. you've seen it on display just now. You get the job done. As long as he can sling it, it don't matter how fast he is. Midwest Boom trying to tie it up. Raw Miami trying to punch their ticket to the OT7 Championship Final. First right and goal here. Looking over the middle. Oh, oh, we get another worm. Hey, give me oh a worm. Give me a worm. <laughs> that man hit the oh, whip on him. That boy whipped Nico Bertolino. <laughs> Throw back to like 2018, The year is 2016, <laughs> and Nico Bertolini is hitting the whip. <laughs> boy, yes, Nico nice. Bertolino. What a throw, what a grab. What a catch. The body control to keep both feet in, too. Hey, I got to say, Alessio has been on it. Nah, he has. He's been on it. I, once again, though, another situation like level 82 where I would have used... The mm. money drive right mm. there. Mm. But we'll see. Maybe maybe the 37 defensive coverages they have can come in clutch against Low the number one player in the country. Got to. <laughs> Julian saying the future. Alabama QB. A minute 20 left. Has a minute 20 left. Two minute drill. Wait, we saw him do it in the quarterfinals. He Two made some drill. unbelievable throws, including one up the seam that you've probably seen on social media by now. No blitzes for Boom, so they just got to depend on that 37 coverages that they have. More coverages than an SEC defense. Said by know. JR. I don't Said know. Y'all think it's 37? Uh, it's got to be somewhere up there. How do you even have that many coverages? I, I don't know. Yes. Mix, max, mix matching and coverage. If they have that many coverages, I, I better see something against Low Pro if they make it to this championship. If Low Pro makes it too. If you got 37 coverages, the other teams shouldn't be scoring on you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You just a bad coach at that point. Like, <laughs> figure it out. Yeah. Say it looking back over to the left. Lame. That's Lowey McCoy. Easy, Second down here. Second down. Call the timeout. Only 22 seconds left on the clock right now for them. The clock, the clock is still on their side because we're back to you know normal NFL college rules, out of bounds, incompletions. You can stop the clock. Yo, y'all got you got a dig. And I think if I'm Julian saying I'm looking for number five, KJ Duff. Just about that. Well, if there's a quarterback I trust in the clutch more at this tournament, I don't know who it is. Who got I a would... wheel? Somebody got a wheel. Luane. 
Dwayne. Dwayne Wade. Throw to him. He's open. Dwayne. Touchdown. And he caught it. Tutty. Dwayne Tuttle. Best wide out oh. alive. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Little easy. It's too easy. You can't give that man too, that much space. Still 19 seconds left. But take another look. Look at this catch here, D. Mm. Ooh, we going for some money here. Oh, Midwest Boom going for all of it. You got to at this point. You want to go home, I hear. You want to go home. Okay, you're running the fade. You Might got, as well. Uh, uh, you got a 15-yard corner underneath him. You got a 10-yard out to the sideline. You got a 22-yard out to the sideline. You got a toe tap. I like one thing that Raw Miami does here, and you might be able to see it on this drive if they're capable to get down towards the red zone area. They put Luane McCoy in the game inside the 10-yard line, and he has been unbelievable off the line of the scrimmage and jamming some dudes. 18 seconds. Oh, he's got his guy, Amari. Amari. Oh, but he, oh, he was out no. of bounds. Oh, he was just out of bounds. Man, that was a great throw. That was a great play call and a great throw, too. 13 oh, seconds left. One of these Midwest teams are going to the championship. Needs a touchdown. A touchdown will win it with the money drive. Let's take another look. Is he in? Let's see. Oh. oh. He got oh. Oh. He got oh. toe in. Yeah, first. Toe in. He got, got the in. toe in first. Yeah. Toe got in though. It's the toe, but the full oh, foot comes in. down. Oh, the heel comes in out of bounds. It's in. The, the heel got coming in. out of bounds. Toe got in, though. Yo, Amarion. What's the rules as far you as get that, that down? goes? Bro, that's down, bro. No! That's What's down. I mean, nobody like Boom, goes? so they all over there. So oh, if nice. it's a drag, then it's in. We still going to win, though. But we got to win. Okay. I don't believe that's a catch just because the full foot okay, comes down. Foot. If it's a drag, it's a completely different thing. But the foot ain't on of it. The toe touch is in first. So uh, a similar situation happened in the NFL. Des Bryant, right? He caught yep. a game winner at the back of the end zone. And his yep. heel was just barely out of bounds. And they called it out of bounds. That yep. was Amarion Stewart, the future Michigan Wolverine. Kind of incomplete. Yeah, I know I've got my Michigan boys if back home watching. It, yeah, so guys, if he drags his foot right here, it's a completion. But the fact mm. that the full foot comes down yep. and the heel's uh, out of bounds means that it's wait. a foot out of bounds. There's the blitz. No! They'll bring up third down with 10 seconds left, and this is the ball game, fellas. Yeah, yeah. If I tag him, the clock runs. I know. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't, yeah, I want to know that rule. Yo. Bro, they're going to try to get the first down. Keep them in bounds. Keep them in bounds. Hey, CJ. Midwest hey, Boom does down. not have any timeouts left. Here we go. Third right down. Here. This going is the, the ball end zone. game. Taking a shot deep. They're going all the way down. Miles Ellis Robinson. Ellis Robinson, Ellis Robinson the number one DB in the country. Said, I got other players. Uh, we're all Miami. <laughs> Back in the championship the again. Take another look, Alessio. Heated it again. down the field. Hey, Raw Miami set up with the with the with the interesting matchup now. And Raw Miami will move to the finals. They will face the winner of Low Pro and the Trillion Boys. That is coming up next. Raw Miami wins this one, 32-23. What a game! What a game! We've had what action we've had all day. 32-23 is your final Raw Miami over Midwest Boom. For overtime, Tom, for Kieran, for Young Destroying. I'm Alex Overtime Day. Low Pro Trillion Boys coming up next. OT7 Championship presented by Adidas live from LA. All right, Joey, you're running a button hook, all right? Tommy, back quarter fade. Billy, you're gonna pump fake and then hit. Coach, you don't remember my name, do you? I got 12 touchdowns this year. That's a rookie mistake. You're gonna hit Nick. Nick, that's who you're gonna hit. Snickers, the official chocolate of OT7. Overtime Tom here for a two minute drill. Before you celebrate, you gotta make a play. Otherwise, it'll be the other team doing the celebrating. A football team is only as strong as its weakest link. So remember, vapes can contain toxic chemicals that can irreversibly damage your lungs and the team. Let's head back to the action. Oh, 
Hey, we're back here with Raw Miami. They just got a big win. I'm here with Luane McCoy, owner Jose Duasa, and my man Cortez Mills. Now, Luane, you caught a big touchdown there, game-winning touchdown. Walk me through that play. What happened? You know, uh, I told my coach that, uh, you know, he couldn't stick me and throw me the wheel, so he did that, and I just made a play. Awesome, awesome. And Cortez, we got a game right now between Low Pro and Chilean. You played Chilean about a billion times. Which team would you rather play in the finals? Low Pro. We want our GBG. Big GBG. All right, I'm going to let these guys go celebrate with their teammates. Great job. Appreciate you, Luane. Appreciate you, Cortez. Great job. Jose, man, you got a great squad out here. Yeah. Got a big win just now. Talk to me about that win and what that means to the program. It's real big for the program to get a championship as the first year. Massive, massive accomplishment. Now, you said first year. Were you with another program in the past? What was it? For the people that are just tuning yeah, in for the first time. I've been in the game some time. I was with the Miami Mortals. Now I'm with Raw and here to take names and kick ass. Okay, and you're doing a good job so far taking people down. Talking about Julian saying the quarterback, how you got him in the mix and, and what's been like that for him at quarterback. Best quarterback in the country, blank period. He's going to cement himself in a history. Elite 11, OT7 winner. Let's, let's just keep the train moving. <laughs> and now Cortez Mills says he wants low pro in the finals, but I feel like you might want a different team. <laughs> I, I want either of them. I need my get back on low pro and just keep, uh, it's Father's Day. I got to keep Stoop and my son uh, in check. <laughs> Wait, how many times have you beaten Chilean boys? What's the record? Four. Sweep. We're going to go for five, I guess, but we can, we can, we can keep it there. Okay. okay. Jose Duasso, great job, man. I mean, he's the best. That was unbelievable. We got low pro versus Chilean boys coming up in a little bit. Low pro. They looked a little shaky in the last game. Chilean boys looked great in their first game against Team Toa. We'll see what happens. I think uh, Chilean boys over here, obviously we got Josh Steven. Let me see if I can get Josh over here. Hey, Coach Stupid! Stupid! We're going to walk over here real quick. We're going to get Stupid in the mix a little bit. We can talk about his team. They've done a great job so far. He looks very stressed, though. I don't feel great about where this is going. Hey, Coach. How are you feeling? Feeling good. How are you feeling? I feel freaking great. I mean, Raw Miami has got a great win. What do you think about that? Good for them. Jose wants you guys to win so he can make you his son one more time. How do you feel about that? You got to lose some weight. <laughs> <laughs> um, talking about this matchup right here, we got Chilean boys against Low Pro. How are we feeling? First time in history. Goliath is five foot four. But David always wins. <laughs> um, Low Pro, obviously a really good program. Did you guys uh, have you played them before? Played them yesterday. Or oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You got yeah, smacked around. 23-19. Yeah, but it didn't feel good. Bias is a crazy thing. All right, now what do you guys have to do out here in this game for you to take home a win? You'll see. It's gonna be very apparent very early. Maybe a flaw in the rule book. Maybe not. No, it's not a flaw in the rule book. But you'll see it very early. We have a game plan that is actually very, very unique, and uh, it's gonna be fun to see if it works. It's all you can do against these guys because they're so damn talent, talent uh, not talented. Good. There's good, really hard workers. Reminds me a lot of myself. Hard work ethic, but uh, it's gonna be a crazy, crazy, crazy little game plan we got here. So you'll see. It's apparent. All right, without further ado, we're ready to see it right now. Trillion boys against Low Pro. That's Coach Josh Steuben. Thank you, Coach D Day Kieran. Man, I've been waiting for this one. Let's check it out right now. Appreciate you guys. Welcome to the OT7 Championship presented by Adidas. We are in the semifinal round, live from Los Angeles, Low Pro versus the Trillion Boys. Two teams that took very different paths to get here, but only one team can punch their ticket to the championship and face off against Raw Miami, who just got the win. Alongside Kieran, alongside Young D Strong, I'm Alex Overtime Day. Fellas, how are we doing? We've had a great what day of do, football. What do, what do, how do you do? How <laughs> do you do? It has been a great day of football, and we only got two games left before we crown Man. our national champion. I'm so Whoa. excited. Now, that's been exciting, exciting little bracket on the way to get here. Raw Miami just beat Midwest Boom, and now Low Pro versus Trillion Boys are scoring off to see who goes to the final. Man, I, I'm so excited for this finals matchup, too, because Raw Miami either has to rematch Low Pro, who beat them bad in, yep. the, in the Austin final, yep. or they got to go against their, I don't even call them a rival. You got to beat them once to be a rival, but mm. no, no, Trillian just, it's tough. Like, 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 like Jose was saying, you know, the, the Father's Day thing about, about them is pretty tough. But I'm no. interested to see what they said the flaw in the rule book is. I, I really want to see what they pull out of their pocket. Interesting. 
We played four divisionals throughout the spring. Low Pro won the first two of them. So they had, oh, here oh we go, God, shot God. right off the rip. Oh, oh my goodness. And I can't even oh do the introduction. Oh my God. Pro... 45 oh, nothing, boys, watch two. this. Out the gate. Hey, I, I told 24K you can't let them get warmed up. It seems like they let them get warmed up. That was a dime right off the bat. <laughs> the team made up of mostly guys under six feet tall from oh Hawaii gosh. and Las Vegas have beaten everyone in their path and they are off to a quick start here in LA. Strapping. Trillion is scared, bro. Man, this is tough. Low Pro already on one right now. Now, this, ooh, they needed that warm-up game. They, they really did. Trillion boys are made up entirely, entirely of three, four, and five stars. And by the way, mostly four stars. Almost every single guy on their team are four stars. Low Pro only has one four star, and they only have three three stars. Ooh. And that does not mean anything at OT7. Just missed mm. boy Jordan Anderson right there. They have so much talent at wide receiver. Jordan Anderson, four star out of Newport Beach, California. Andrew Marsh, Katy, Texas. DeCorian Moore, Duncanville, Texas. Winston Watkins, we saw him. He's from he's from, he's from the crib. You know, yeah, we get Florida, Florida. Some, some, some credit he's here. Yeah, no, no, yeah. no, no, you got, you got, you got, you got, you got four guys. Ridiculous. Huh? Hey, it was Florida, Cali, and Texas. You guys just heard the Texas stuff. If this is your first time tuning in, you only get three down. So this is essentially fourth down. First down markers are at the 25 and the 10. Got him. He just got it there. He got just picked him. it up. D, can you explain the scoring for us? Scoring is simple. Seven points. If you get a touchdown, you could go for a one-point gamble, which a lot of teams aren't choosing to go for. If you get it, you go to eight. If you don't, you go back down to six. And on defense, a turnover on downs is two points, and a pick is three points. The quarterback Darius Curry, kind of under the radar, but he's been cooking this week, man. He's been doing his thing. Trillian's only lost one game here at this tournament so far, and it was to Raw Miami in a very close game whenever they brought Julian Sand from, mm -hmm. from out of nowhere. They brought him back. <laughs> they brought him back. <laughs> Winston Watkins with the crowd. Mm -hmm. We got to see more winning, man. We do need to see more winning. DeCorian Moore, number one, has eaten up a lot of the targets. Winston Watkins has been a lot of the, the dink and dunk underneath, but we know what kind of explosive receiver he is. A lot of mouths to feed for this mm. offense. 20 again, but the low pro defense is so disciplined. Everyone knows their job, they know their assignment, and they stick to it. They really are. I got to see what Trilly was talking about, man. They got to get creative with that playbook. Yeah, I want to see them. I want to see them bend the rules a little bit. We, got, we, we see Midwest Boom always uh -huh. doing the million different trick plays. Uh -huh. You hear the raw coach over there talking about they think they yep. feel silly willy nilly they sell. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure we're there on that Coming ball. into this weekend, they said that their defensive strategy is more to take gambles, try to get some picks. But so far oh. here, they've been playing Good steady job. D. Mm. Wow. But Donald Alubode. What a touchdown there. 7-7, seven, seven, great throw by Curry, great catch by Alu Bode. D, what do you see on this play? Mm, just a dot, strong hands. DB, I mean, ain't much you could do but jump on his back at that point. I mean, height advantage. Look, yeah, look at the height difference. Not five much you three. Can how do tall is Bode? Uh, <laughs> five three is a good. Uh, Alu Bode is six two. Six two and verse five three. Kinda is almost five a full foot three. Foot taller, man. Mm -hmm. Lem inches. Lem. Lem lem. So Mikey Eugenio in at QB for Low Pro. They they have two QBs who both are just always seem to be dialed in. Ty McCutcheon, Mikey Eugenio. Micah is the backup for Bishop Gorman, the powerhouse in Vegas. But he has been an OT7 superstar since day one of OT7 season one in Las Vegas last year. He's got a couple offers. He is only uh, getting holding, better. Holding. No holding? I don't know. I'm gonna call that one a sack. Four seconds went by. Mm. Oh, take it down, take it down, take it down. that's how you got to stop these low pro boys, yeah. bro. They're so shifty, dog. <laughs> Man. D, you had a low pro guy win your ones at the Adidas throwdown yesterday, that too. boy, Aiden, both star safety. He's like that. He only not only won my ones yesterday at the Adidas showdown, but he also won them in Hawaii when I host them for a lot of money. <laughs> 
Oh, oh and he bro. caught that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So that is a perfect example of why this team is so good. They are always on the same page. They have unmatched chemistry. They play hey, hey. with each other throughout the season. A lot of times they go no huddle, just a couple hand motions, a couple key words, and they are back up to the line, ready to go. Hey, hey. Third and short. Low pro is not in these situations a lot, man. Nah, no, they're hey, not. Hey, hey, but don't these, jump. Credit don't to these jump. teams. We got the best they seven teams in the they country. Come. They come. Oh, work. Don't they show come. blitz. Inside, You Zach. get two blitzes, two uh, rushes. And they jump. Fuck, I just said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He literally said, "Don't jump," and they they all jumped. It. I'm sorry. Bro. <laughs> he said, "Don't jump." God damn. <laughs> Offside is a five-yard penalty. Replay it down, but I believe that is first down yardage. Oh. Yeah. Coach Stupin. <laughs> They lose their blitz. Oh, and they lose a the blitz. That's tough. Mm. He's out oh my God. Mikey Eugenio. Did you just intervene? Put them up to 16 again. Mikey Eugenio with the Invisalign oh smile after that one. <laughs> yeah. I got you. Hey, it's it's a minutes back. Oh. Eugenio drops back, pumps once, back of the end. Oh! oh. I think he's just out of bounds, Ooh. though, but that was such a good catch by Tyco, oh. bro. Hey, give Ricardo out. Give Ricardo out. Dumb boys is crazy good, man. Look at him go. smiling. He's like, damn, I knew I should have had that one. Oh, my goodness, Titan. Hey. Guys, Coach Steuben just whispered to me, this is for the game here. I, I don't know. That's, I mean, that's a lot this early in the game. <laughs> but. Yeah, I don't know if you guys got a reaction to that, because I don't. <laughs> 15 minutes right here. So it's know. interesting. They have their tight end, Elijah Washington, just standing in front of Mikey Eugenio because he's not the tallest. Interesting strategy. Taking away the middle of the field by just putting your <laughs> six that's foot act, seven oh, that's what it is. in front of Micah. Yeah. Don't pass the ball. That out. might be what it is. That's an interesting strategy. Just take away the middle of the field. That's an interesting strategy. He does not even play defense. I mean, was, this maybe the, was it does, the trick that you had, had up your sleeve? Six foot seven, yeah. <laughs> He's very tall. He thought he was talking in code. That took me five seconds to figure out. Come on. Like I said, they know he can roll Back out, right? Back across his five. Oh, Touchdown. Low pro. Low pro with the <laughs> Titan Lakata. Back on time. Catching touchdowns. I'm not gonna lie, I thought time might have run out yeah, there. Yeah, it was close. It was very it was close. close. I was waiting for the whistle. One I thought that was a little long, personally. Three. Three. They're doing slow motion. Well, we'll just they did a little slow motion, slow motion yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, damn, I don't know. Seven seconds. Well, <laughs> seven seconds. <laughs> <Whoa, I'm sick. laughs> Yeah, yeah that's really, I felt like a really long say, time. Yo, whoa. How long did this end the loose? Was that long? <laughs> D-Strong thought it was it was short. He didn't think it was oh, it was too many. Oh, this oh, guy, bro, Tom, I can't stand you. I personally, I thought it was a long time. I know your tactics, Tom. I'm gonna stay calm. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna tactics, stay calm. He knows. <laughs> I'm just gonna start saying that in the office. I know your tactics, Tom. I'm Tom gonna, is, I'm gonna Tom. stay calm. <laughs> <laughs> Tom and Coach Stupid need their own show, bro. This is like, every time he's on Vibe Game, it's the wildest thing. Tom's ever. just been trying to get Stupid to hit him for the last. I got one more thing for Coach Stupid. I'm saving in my back pocket for later. I'll let you guys know in a little bit. <laughs> Goodness gracious! Curry oh. back to work. Oh, 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 oh man! Oh. Oh. And this, I do not see him. Is what you cannot do if you want to beat Low Pro. He had to stop right on the outside open. Man. But that's where he chose to go. Can't do that one. Zaya Duncan. Mm. If he ain't pick it off, the next DB up would have picked it off. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yep. And if he didn't pick it off, then the DB behind him would have yeah. picked it off. <laughs> A dangerous Damn. throw from the jump. That's tough. And that is what you cannot do. 17-7, now they going to put their foot on their neck. Yep. Not when you playing low pro. Yeah. You gotta force the mistake. Make a mistake a... like that. They're like a snake. Oh, he's got a deep that man. Was gonna go deep. They're going oh for my yes. goodness. They're going Jesus. for the kill. Jesus. They smell <laughs> blood in the water. Boy, if he would have caught that, I would have left the booth. His release was nasty too. I'm not gonna I would have left the booth. <laughs> <laughs> 
see. Joey Moy still got their money right drive in the bag. We'll see what happens here. Yeah, it's not over. They're down 10 yeah. right now. Lopro hey, gotta... but Lopro also has theirs in the bag. Lopro nice. does have theirs in the bag, though. But I think Lopro right here, we've seen Lopro get stopped a couple of times. They don't, they don't look yep. as unstoppable as they did on Thursday right now, but we'll see. <laughs> that might be time, yeah. It looked like time. That'll bring up third down. Just a reminder, coming up after this championship game, Stop it'll the be the winner of this game versus Raw Miami. We have a guy injured right now. We hope he's all right. It's my boy Devin. I hope he's okay, bro. I didn't see what happened. Yeah. It's quite quiet. Yeah, I didn't get to take a look at that one. But... Yeah, like you were saying about this, uh, this championship matchup, Raw, I think it's a hey, it's an interesting game. They they're gonna love either one of these matchups for mm -hmm. themselves right now. But hey, Tom, what's going on down there? Hey, I'm down here with Tom a coaching quarterback for Low Pro. Took a big shot down there. I know he didn't hit. Is that was that something that you were aiming for after a quick little turnover? Uh, you know, we had the momentum there. I thought we could get a quick shot, and you know, I just took it. What do you think about Trillion Boys as an organization? They talk a lot of trash online. They got a lot of flashy uniforms. You guys are more under the radar. What do you think about them? Shoot, I just think it's funny, you know, they come out here, do their thing, and make some jokes. It's pretty, it's funny to me. Are you going to win? I hope so. But, like, by a lot? Like, can we get, like, a blowout here? I mean, that's the goal. Like, we're supposed to blow everybody out. Like, that's that's our mentality coming into it. We're supposed to blow everybody out. Do you wish your receivers were taller? No, I wish they were shorter. <laughs> <laughs> I like you guys. <laughs> yeah. Devin got up and walked off on his own power. That's going to be a big loss for Chilean, though. That, that, he's probably one of the most talented DBs we've seen this weekend. He's the number one ranked DB in the class of 25. Hoping he feels a little bit better, gets back out here. That's Devin Sanchez, five-star class of 2025 from Houston. Got every, offer from just about every single school in Everywhere, the man. Oh, oh my. A rare drop. Oh, oh my oh. goodness. What's going on? Grip boost for low pro on diesel? Where they need the grippers. That's crazy. It's a pretty tough Kamoku. drop right there, man. That would have been a first down for him. Diesel. Oh, Picked man. his head up early. Mm. Gonna need the yardage here. Third down, money Big down. third down in this game. They need to get to the 25 yard line. Essentially a fourth and ten. Oh, he's taking, taking a shot. shot. Oh. Deep. He's got it too. A little short. Oh. That's yeah. a PI. Oh. 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 What? Boy, the ref oh. took the, the, oh. took the oh. flag out. So weird. Perfectly put stop. it back in That's his pocket. Oh, I don't know. That's a great stop. Man. SPI, like, oh, yeah, SPI. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. That might uh, be SPI. A, a hug and a kiss. Yeah, hey, ref. Right, look, man. Man. The ref took the flag out, put it over his shoulder, oh, then put it back man. in his pants. I, I ain't I never seen that know. before in my entire hey, life. Hey, refs, I want to ride with you, but you're making yeah. it hard yeah. for me. <laughs> you're making it hard for you're me. making it hard for me. D, oh, it is, is time for the money drive. We see the Johnny Manziel money hands. Explain the rules for me. Ten points. Points for a Teddy, four points for a turner of on downs, six points for an interception. So there's a lot of money on the table. Trillion boys could tie it right here. Well, take the lead actually. Damn. Damn. That's Ooh. tough, man. Low Pro's been getting some tough calls from these refs recently. I'm not gonna lie to you. The first game, we saw things were about to get real interesting with 24K when there was a no call. That one, ooh, I don't know. That's two, that's two big no calls, guys. I wonder if they saw Lily's joking post on the OT7 channel last yeah. night. The saying script. Low Pro were the champions and the script was leaked and they said, man. Low Pro going with a blitz we're gonna here. take it into our own hands. He got a completion. That was a nice, great catch there. And they blitz on second down, so I'm assuming they might blitz right here on third down as well. I don't get blitzing on second down. I do if you want to get two back-to-back -back plays and you game, need possession. Back. But I think if you blitz there on second down, in my blitzing opinion, you on have second to down. blitz on third. Well. Blitzing on second down with 10 minutes left in the game. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But maybe they're trying to put them away right now. That's an interesting strategy, though. I think low pros, they feel they're like they should take again. control of this game. Yeah, they have to blitz again right here. You know, blitz on second down. Don't oh, 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 oh. There's the blitz. Got him. And they got him. That's going to be a turnover on downs. That's why you blitz on second down right there, Dave. That's why. That is why. It looks like, based on what's going on there, there was a, there was a miscommunication. The fuck is we talking about? Of what they are running, because we saw two guys go deep. They knew the blitz was coming. They needed only a couple yards for a first down. 
And Karen, the you good up there, man? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just... The, <laughs> <laughs> what they just said to stupid heavy, you crack it up, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Good oh, stupid right man, there. Man. He stupid was trying to get on the players, and stupid was wrong. And they were like, what are you talking you about, there. bro? <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> Micah back in the game. You only needed a couple <laughs> yards for a first down. You knew the blitz was coming. That boy's about to rip his hair out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he looked like he was about to hit me. I'm going to the other side. Oh, I don't know, bro. Oh, man. Things starting to unravel here for Trillion Boys. Yeah. 20. It's, Sorry, Kieran, go on. I was just going to say, like, it's the pressure of playing low pro, bro. Mm -hmm. like, like, these teams are pulling out Hail Marys to beat a bunch of five foot four dudes from Hawaii, bro. <laughs> like, that is they crazy get in your to head. me. They get in your head. They do get in your head. You know, you have to come perfect to play against them, and uh, otherwise, you're going to lose, bro. You can't be making mistakes. Man. So. Earlier when they were in the red zone, they had the Trillion Boys defense had Elijah Washington, their tight end, standing in front of Eugenio. Now, I, I agree with the decision to not put him in the, on the field here because you're in shotgun, but I don't know. Maybe? I don't know. Would you consider that? Not right here. There's too much not, field. There's way too I'm much thinking. to work with. And, and you're really wasting oh. a defender right there. With this much space, you need... Oh, Devin! Oh, oh my God! That's a grab. He might have held on to that. He might have held on to that. That's a grab. Oh my goodness! Touchdown, low pro. That's a grab. Andre the Giant. They're gonna say that's a pass interference though on the offensive side of the no. ball. Devin, Devin Sanchez did get pushed in the back, which is why I think he came up short on that interception right there. Yeah, right before that he Five pushed. Five yards. Him. Lost it down. Five yards, lost a down. Yeah, because Devin, Devin was about to make a play on that one right there, but I think he he, he pushed him off, second down, second which gave down. him just enough space and, and caused Devin to come up short on that touchdown. I wish we could see a little bit yeah, earlier in the replay. Yeah, just a little bit earlier. I, I want to see the replay a little bit earlier. Yeah. We call the OPI. What did you see down there, Mr. Official? Uh, he created the space by extending his arm. That's why I threw the flag on that. So the separation came from the push off. You going to push me? What the hell? <laughs> To you guys. <laughs> he had to show you what it was, bro. <laughs> Low pros taking shots, man. No, they are. This is this is the most deep shots that I've seen them taking. This is against two extremely talented corners. Dijon Lee and, and Devin Sanchez are dogs. Right. Back to no, it. Yeah. Another one. Two. Oh, oh, two. That one, no. though. It's, it's oh, my good. goodness. It's all good. Slot hey. corner route. Oh, it's so good. Does it twice. Oh, oh, <laughs> it's all good. It don't matter, boy. 28-9. Low pro. Take another look at this thrown catch. Beautiful ball by Mikey Eugenius. That boy Aston, bro. He's a problem. He's a problem, dog. He nasty. Ooh. Disgusting. <laughs> nasty, dog. Aston. Martin. You. Zip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Carter taking a shot. shot. Oh, he's wide open. Wow. Oh, there you go. There you go. Right back at him. That's what they need. One play. And oh, shout, oh, out, shout out Winnie. Two. One go play. Touchdown. Go for two. We got go more for work two. to do here. Go for two. And, two. and, and they hit the one point gamble here. 12. Oh, really? They're going to go for the one point gamble. Makes, I, makes. I don't, I, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I mean they, I they just need to get as many points as they can here. Yeah, I think that's yeah. the thought process. They get this one, they get 17, then they get a stop. They still don't have their money drive, though, so I don't really, I don't. It's a I'm going to ask, ask Coach Stupin. Coach, Coach, what's the reason for the one-point gamble? Look at the scoreboard. I, I do see the scoreboard. The math ain't mathing. My fucking JR, bro. Let's go for two. We're down. <laughs> I did hear that you gave a woman a long hug earlier. Is your girlfriend in the building? Uh, she had to leave. She's not feeling too good, but yeah. It looks like you're not feeling too good either, coach. Good luck the rest of the way. Taking up, up, a up. shot. P.I. Yeah, that's P.I. P.I. Hey, did it again. That's Aiden that had to come over and help Kaina. Five foot three corner going up against the six foot seven. It's the same matchup they did last time. Hey, yeah. shout out to Aiden. Real homie. He Aiden said, I'm not going to let you do through. that again. <laughs> it is a four. 14 inch height difference. I'm not going to let you disrespect my boy can, like that again. Can, can we get a shot of, of that matchup at the top of the screen? They got to be looking that way again. They're going to look. Oh. Oh, oh, the man. oh. Winnie. Oh, my goodness, Winnie. Winnie needs two words. Oh, no, Winnie. 
He needs to work. Oh, man. Chat, let him know. Four oh, minutes man. left. I think Low Pro got a hand on that. Dang, that hit him right in the chest, too. Come on, Winnie. Mm -hmm. I will say this, though. Going into this championship, say Low Pro gets this done, which is looking like they are. They don't look the same. They don't look invincible like they like they have before. You know, they, they, they look like there's opportunity to be had there. Yo, these boys haven't lost a game in a couple months, so I'm, I'm going to need to see someone come within 10 points of them before I start. They got a five-star you know. super quarterback, Elite 11 MVP on the yeah, other side, like, ready to go at them. I don't know. <laughs> it's going to be a crazy matchup. 28-15 the score right now. Low Pro has the ball with just over three minutes left. The winner of this game faces off against Raw Miami right after this in the championship game here at the OT7 Championship presented by Adidas. What a great day of football we've had. What a great day. Phenomenal Fabulous day. Phenomenal day of football, man. Oh, oh, he got, he got that. Some boy Ty trying to take some more ankles, bro. He better Ty relax. McCutcheon. Somebody tell Ty to relax down He's there, trying bro. Trying to take him in slow motion. Though. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> got that Tom Brady yeah. <laughs> dead leg. <laughs> Ooh, our final coming up, man. Whoever wins this versus Raw Miami mm. Mm. championship, OT7 season mm -hmm. two coming to a wrap. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, we got one more game. They killing that clock. They, as they should. McCutcheon Monday drops Monday back, Monday taking oh a God. shot over the middle. Oh my God. Did he get a foot no. in? Out of oh my goodness, Titan. <laughs> Smiling at him. <laughs> <laughs> These low pro oh boys. My oh my God, goodness, bro. yo. He like really tried to get his foot down though. That's nasty, right? I didn't like, see oh that on a replay. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at the smile after two at the defender. Nice throw by McCutcheon. A little oh, too far. Just Got oh. to you. Yeah, just need a little bit taller to get that foot down right there. Oh, oh man. yeah, yeah, <laughs> damn, man. <laughs> These are some high rate guys. It's just like they don't care, bro. It's crazy to see them get open. Second down, minute 30 left. Looking to the sideline. That was a great they route, that, bro. Oh my oh god, that was a great <laughs> route. <laughs> Diesel. Oh, damn. <laughs> Everything they do, bro. Jesus. Pro. It looks like pros, bro. Like, oh, I don't know. God. They're just small. That's it. Like, yeah. they, they have elite skill set. If these set, boys bro. was like 6'2", could you imagine? No, they hey, nasty. blitzers! They oh. Blitzers! All Ricardo. 20 of these boys would be Ricardo, don't one through 20 on, on the rankings. Throw. Exactly. <laughs> don't the other guy. Oh, my gosh. Watching Raw Miami walk past the booth right now. Julian Sam walking with his boys. This low pro team about to meet them in a championship, a rematch of the final. In Are they about to punt this ball? <laughs> they go long snap to the end zone. Ah, a little far. They're getting creative. <laughs> Jeez, man. So 28 17. Is they need another one play tub right here. Yeah. They need another one. They have already, then you can apply some real pressure. They have already used their money drive. They need a quick strike touchdown. But right here, I'm going, I need a one play shot to the end zone. Then you gotta you gotta get your one point gamble going. You need to convert that and then you need to get an interception. That's the match. Taking the shot. shot. There it is. Pick. Pick. Ooh, I thought Aiden grabbed yeah, that. Yeah, I thought Aiden got that one, too. I I'm thought not gonna Aiden lie. grabbed that. Aiden got up for that one. He is a ball hop back there. <laughs> Man. Sideline <laughs> to sideline. And right now, since, he's he, tough, bro. <laughs> since, since, since he knows he knows that they need to take a shot here. They just sitting back. And they're just sitting Prevent. back. Prevent. Prevent. I feel like there's about to be a crazy catch right now, though. I don't know. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling a pick. That might be a crazy catch, too. Taking uh -oh. another shot, this Curry. Uh-oh. 6 7. Oh, oh, they got up there with him, though. Oh, my gosh. goodness. Is he good? Jesus. He's good. Man. Oh, my goodness, bro. Line, bro. <laughs> Reckless of I need a replay of that one, bro. He got up there, bro. Oh, man. What? Yo. I hope he's all right. He got up quickly. He's cool. Nah, he's smooth. And ain't them Polynesian boys built different, bro. What you know? Look at that. I'm up there. Oh my. Beat. Ugh. Dang. That tape's not soft. 
<laughs> I'm telling you. Third down. This right. is the another ball one. game. Oh, oh, goodness. Oh, he just dropped it. Tack oh. on two. Two words for low pro. You give him two words for Nalu? He do need, he do need that. Nalu dribbles. needs two words. Man. Oh, no, that's not Nalu. That's a... Uh, <laughs> I forget what his name is. It's, um... Was that, I thought it said 21. No, I can't. No, I think that's a. Uh, that's probably a switch yeah, to that, that one, nah, he's too tall to be. Trey, not three, Trey, not three, one, two, three. Trey. LT, 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 LT. <laughs> that was the saddest truly of all time. That was low pro, actually. <laughs> was that low pro? Yeah. I was looking down at the sheet. Yeah. Damn, <laughs> that's yep. cold. 30 to 17 is your final in the semi final matchup of low pro and Trillion Boys. Low Pro, the one seed, is going to the final, and they will face off against Raw Miami and future Bama QB Julian Sayan in a can't miss matchup just moments away. Low Pro, just what can you say about those boys? 30 17 is your final for Tom, for Kieran, for D. I'm over Tom Dake. Stick with us. After review, the ruling on the field stands. Clean catch. First down. Yeah, I don't know about that one. He's following me on IG, so clean catch. Got to remember to turn your mic off. That's a rookie mistake. Snickers, official chocolate of OT7. Overtime Tom here for a two-minute drill. Before you celebrate, you've got to make a play. Otherwise, it'll be the other team doing the celebrating. A football team is only as strong as its weakest link. So remember, vapes can contain toxic chemicals that can irreversibly damage your lungs and the team. Let's head back to the action. Welcome back to the OT7 Championship down here in California. We're about to have the championship, the finals, and I got the beautiful, beautiful trophy right here. We can't wait to see who takes this home. We're gonna have Raw Miami against Low Pro, two of the best teams all OT7 season. They're coming out right now. We got Lewayne McCoy, Julian Sayan on Raw Miami. We got Micah Eugenio, Ty McCutcheon on Low Pro. We can't wait to see. We've been with Raw Miami all season. Right now, we're gonna check it out. Their road to the finals, Raw Miami. Up. Back shoulder, easy money, easy, easy money. Raw Miami deserves to be at the OT7 championship because we are the best team in the country. Team's identity is one that is very loud, very vocal. We let our kids do the talking and their play matches it. Morris looking to the corner. Oh my God. Touchdown, Raw Miami. Oh my God. What I love about OT7 is just the experience for the kids, the commitment of a, of a big brand like Overtime, getting into our space and giving us a platform to really show the, the cool stuff our kids do in games. We haven't been at full strength at one tournament yet and gotten very far at every single tournament. We finally have our QBs back in place. I wouldn't call it a cakewalk, but I, I really do believe it, it will be an easy tournament for us. And Mikey Eugenio. Oh, Our goal for the OT7 championship is championship or bust, just like every tournament we go to. It would mean a lot for our players to walk out of Los Angeles with a championship. A lot of them is their last times ever playing seven on seven. They believed in our vision and, and came with us on uh, what we could do as, as a brand and as a team. And honestly, uh, we're very fortunate to have the coaching staff and, and the players that we have in, in our organization. Hardy rolls out, they're gonna use him to run. He's gonna make a move. Oh, he missed the tag in the end zone. Our mission is the championship. You shouldn't lose focus on a single team. You gotta take each team seriously and go out there to win a championship. I truly believe uh, that Raw is gonna come into the championship and just dominate every single opponent that we play and do something that the seven on seven space hasn't seen defensively and offensively. It's, it's gonna be a real show, so get your popcorn ready. And there you have it, Raw Miami, one of the best teams in the country and on OT7 circuit all season long. And now they have a brand new quarterback, Julian Sayan. 
They'll be facing off against Low Pro. Raw's been great. They got a lot of top players, but no one has been good as this Low Pro team who has won 24 straight OT7 games. They haven't lost a game in three months. Mikey Eugenio, Ty McCutcheon, two of the best quarterbacks out here. They got to be the big favorite going into this game. And these two teams have actually played each other before. Low Pro beat Raw Miami 45 to 34. When we're in the OT7 fin uh, divisional finals down in Texas. Low Pro, 24 straight wins. So we're going to check out how they got here, road to the finals with Low Pro. My goal going into the OT7 championship is like everybody else's one. Take one game at a time and hopefully come up with the championship. Our team deserves to be at the championship because of that hard work they put in. First and goal for Low Pro. Just like that, don't blink, you might miss it. When we travel, it's about business. Being able to win at Austin, being able to win at Phoenix, it's very deserving for them. And that is Debatable. Our opponents should be scared of us because of our scheme and our talent. Oh, take the speed out. Oh, speed out. No. Oh, 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 oh. You got to put down. You told you. Five foot receiver. And they put it at him, too. The biggest leaders on our team is the quarterbacks. Uh, Mike Eugenio, Ty McCutcheon. They do what quarterbacks do, they lead. Mike, you taking a yeah, shot. Seven off seven platform is just an avenue for us. The guys who uh, talk trash to us makes us want to compete more and give it all we got. Oh. Oh. Give me that! What it'll take for us to win the whole thing? Be smart, playing IQ football. We take one play at a time and make adjustments accordingly. It's not over yet. Uh, we still got one more shot. Uh, we, we want it all. That was a little bit on low pro, the team from Hawaii and Vegas, probably the best team that's been out here in a minute. But I'm here with Gavin Sidwar. We're gonna talk a little about low pro in a second, but I got this trophy that you didn't, uh, you want? Oh, I'm sorry. You seem very conflicted up between these two teams, Raw Miami and low pro, who do you got winning? Um, you know what, I'm gonna go with upset, I'm gonna go with Raw. I got Raw winning. You said Julian saying different difference maker, the quarterback on Raw Miami, you think he's gonna be the difference? Last time, last time they played in Austin, they ain't have him. They got a good quarterback this time, I got them. All right, all right, all right. Well, we appreciate you. Great job this weekend. Good work. A little pound on here. Thank you. Hey, Low Pro, though, they've been unbelievable. I'm going to disagree with him. I'm going with Low Pro personally. Oh, we got C4 over here. My man, how are we doing today? We're doing good. How are you? I'm doing really great. I got the trophy with me. Now, Low Pro versus Raw Miami. You played against both these teams a bunch of times. Who you got? I'm rooting for Raw, <laughs> but I already know who's going to win. You think it's going to be a blowout? Hopefully not, you know. But no, nah, I mean, if Raw do their job on defense, then I think it's going to be a pretty good game. What do you think makes Low Pro like so unbelievable? Because they don't have like the four and five stars that you would normally match up against. They, it's, it's the heart they have, and then the culture. The coaching is a big part. And then they never switch they, the players who they have. They always keep the same players. Raw Miami, you played against some of those guys. They got like more like the four stars, the five stars. Julian saying a quarterback. Who do you think are the best players on that team over there? The QB is amazing, but I have to say, after what I've seen today, it'll probably be one, three, and five. Okay, KJ Duff, Lloyd McCoy, the receiving crew, basically. Yeah. I ain't seen nothing on defense yet. Should we get you out there? Should we give you, a, give you a raw jersey, maybe get you out there? Yeah. Sorry, man. You want to touch it one last time? Nah, I don't deserve it. All right, all right. The next time you see this trophy, I think it's going to be in the hands of the winner. We got Low Pro versus Raw Miami coming up in the OT7 Championship. We're going to kind of national champion. I cannot wait. I got Low Pro. D, Day, Kieran. Can't wait to hear what you guys got to say about this game. Back to you guys. Let's get it rocking. Welcome to the OT7 Championship presented by Adidas. We are here in Southern California, ready to crown the number one seven on seven team in the nation. 
We had four divisionals all spring, the championship weekend here in LA, and we are down to our final game, Raw Miami versus Low Pro. What a weekend it's been, and we could not have a better matchup for you right here. I'm with Kieran, I'm with Destroying, I'm Alex Overtime Day, fellas. How are we doing? What today? Do, man? This what is the do? time. Hey, it's how time. do you do? How <laughs> do you do? It's time. It's we, time for it, baby. We've had a great day of football. Kieran, talk to us about the bracket and how we got here. So we got here. Raw Miami beat Midwest Boom in a very closely contested matchup. Low Pro, two blowouts to get here. Even though the game seemed a little bit tight early on, Low Pro doing their thing. Ballin'. You got to play perfect to beat them. Ballin'. They're playing Raw Miami in a rematch of the final in Austin. I cannot Ooh. wait to see this. Raw Miami, though, they have Julian saying now, top quarterback in the country coming in to try to take out this team of five foot tall Hawaiians. Mm. It's going to be tough, man. This is going to be a really intense matchup. Last time we saw these two teams play against each other in a championship setting, Low Pro beat Raw Miami 47 to 34. And honestly, the game wasn't even that close. The only Not reason why it's 34 <laughs> is because Wayne McCoy made one of the most insane one handed catches at the very end of the game that you've ever seen. But hey, Raw Miami. They've been looking forward to this matchup. They say they're coming correct. They got Ellis Robinson mm. right back on this team. Mm. It's a completely different roster. We'll see what happens, baby. Let's we'll see. see. Let's see if Julian makes the difference because now they got a new quarterback. He's been throwing dots all day. They rolling. Let's see, let's see if they can roll with him. We have a lot of stats about the last time these two teams played. But D, as you mentioned, the big difference hey, is that Raw Miami Donald, Donald. now has the future QB of Alabama, Julian Sayan. But right now, it is Low Pro <laughs> who is coming out hot. And they are down to inside the 15 yard line. That's Titan Lacaden. Take another look. Waste of no time. Micah Eugenio to Titan Lacaden. So, Low Pro used to be the Cinderella story last year, OT7 Season 1. They have dominated OT7 Season 2, rattling off 24 straight wins. They haven't lost since March 18th. Ooh, almost intercepted. Big play by Ellis over the middle, tapping the ball on a route that he wasn't even on. Have we seen Loco ever throw a pick? Yeah, yeah, we've seen, we seen Ty uh, throw a couple in the very couple. first game. I think uh, that was it. I think uh, they threw a couple in the very first game they played here today. Or, oh, actually, not here today, but uh, this in this tournament. Yeah. yeah. Low Pro has one four star, three three stars. They use a two QB system, and they have unmatched chemistry which really seems like the difference for them. They, they haven't Woo! lost a game in three months. They are 24 and one in that time span. The last loss they had was March 18th in Phoenix, Arizona. Yeah, that's Brother, crazy. This team has been unbelievable. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. D, D, we've caught a lot of low pro games as we're down in the five yard line here. What stands out to you most about them? The heart, heart over height, obviously. Oh, they call it time right there. And they just make unbelievable plays, man. And for some little guys, they got crazy bounce, crazy ups, crazy hands, body control. They can stop on a dime, get their feet down when they need to. And they got hands that are certified. They might be wearing ripples. They're almost entirely made up of guys under six feet tall, mostly Hawaiian, some from Vegas as well. Interesting takeaway here today. Yep, talk Micah, to me. normally the first drive of the game, Ty McCutcheon's been the guy getting the snaps. Micah's getting the snaps right now. Over the middle. Oh, oh my goodness, what a, oh my gosh. Run. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That was Hilton oh, the Blitz Stubbs, the four-star on the coverage. For anyone who's tuning in for the first time, you only get three hey, yo, yo, yo. downs. But he almost did that, though. They're taking the Blitz off, fellas. No Blitz here. He almost did that. That was crazy. He almost did that. Oh, man. What a deflection. That safety Smart saved defense, the day. Smart defense, baby. Thank you. Safety save the day. Third down no, no. here for Mike. I feel like Lopro needs to they score. Coming. They can't They're be coming. showing Blitz Ooh. backing up now. I feel like they need to score. They can't be oh, making the same mistakes. Oh, he's wide open. Oh, my goodness. Raw Miami showing up with a stop on the first drive. CJ Mitchell, the three star, with a hell of a play, gets the ball on it. And Raw Miami goes up 2 nothing and will get the ball back. T, what do you see here? This great play by the defense, man, because he was beat. But he stretched out, got his hands on that. If he didn't, it would have been six, actually seven. <laughs> Micah was just seven a little bit bro. late to that read. Yeah. He, got, he was able to fill the space right there, man. Ooh. Two Raw Miami showing up for the play. Two points for a turnover on downs, three for an interception, seven points for a touchdown. 
and Kieran Julian saying is in at quarterback for Raw Miami. Number one quarterback in the country. Elite 11 MVP mm -hmm. right before mm -hmm. coming out here. And he has been all the difference in the world. Let's yeah, not forget, yeah. on Thursday, Raw Miami, let's be honest, they look like crap. They yeah, went 0-2. Bad. They didn't look good. He bad. shows up to this tournament, and they go off. They play better defensively. The wide receivers are getting more open, it seems. And there's oh, a dominant right there. That is Mills. Oh, my God. And he is unbelievable. And that's what I'm saying. I think low pro, you can't be making these mistakes. You can't be leaving points on the board against Raw Miami because they have looked unstoppable right now with Julian Sands. Their backup QB is Beckham Kritza, and it's going to sound like a knock against him. But it's really that Julian Sands might be the best QB yes. that we've ever had at OT7. Bama he has got been him one. that good. Bama got him one. Bama, Bama really got them yeah. another one. D, he's, he's a Bryce Young caliber Bama prospect. Got one, Absolutely. Yeah. D, who are a couple of the wide outs that you're keeping an eye on here for Raw Miami? Louis McCoy is my favorite. Uh, number one. <laughs> number one. Ah, boy, I got so many. KJ Duff. Yup, number that five. Boy, just throw that up to him. He going to do something. KJ Duff has been a red zone menace at OT7. Keep your eye on him here. He just hit the ground. <laughs> oh, Ooh, I think he's playing on a hurt ankle too, so. Ooh. Everything is so easy for, for yep. Julian Sand right now, man. And this is one of the best defenses we have here too, so. To me, I think it's 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 gonna be tough for Low Pro. You can't leave points on the board right now, and that's usually the position that teams are in against them. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yep. These two teams played earlier this weekend in pool play. Low Pro won that one 31 to 10. But Julian Sane was not there for that, so it's a little bit of a different story. See what they got here, rolling out to the right, looking for Cortez Mills. And that will be a sack, only have three seconds to throw it. Bring up second down. It's almost a flag if they ain't caught a sack. Because mm -hmm. you cannot run inside the team. You're right, T, he got bailed out by the fact mm -hmm. it was a sack. Yep. <laughs> And we got 8.6K people in the chat right now. Keep Going throwing those like likes up. Back in the oh, end, he's wide open. The corner, wide oh. open. Nation Montgomery. Hey. Nine nothing. Raw oh, Miami. Raw Miami. Hey, I said it earlier this week. As soon as Julian Sand got in the game, this might be the one team that's capable of doing it against Low Pro. Mm. And Low Pro has not looked their best today. I will say that too, but they, they got to get it going. They started getting it going later on, especially that last game against Trillian. But hey, man, you cannot leave points on the board with Julian Sand playing as good as he is right now. Mm. A rare kind of blown coverage by Low Pro. Mm -hmm. That is about as open as you will see anyone against them. And Raw Miami is up 9-0. Ty McCutcheon in a QB for Low Pro. Fellas, let me remind you, these two teams played at the OT7 South Championship in Austin, Texas. Low Pro won that one. But Raw Miami started out that game 10-0. 10-0, so Raw, uh, a lead is helpful, but Low Pro will not panic. Tom, what's going on down there? Hey man, we're down here with Julian Sand. I keep trying to talk to you because you keep you keep dicing everyone up. Tell me about that first drive. Yeah, we had a good first drive, just dicing plays together. Some of the stuff we usually run uh, the past couple games this tournament. Low pro. They, they're tough on de they're tough on defense, but they're really tough on offense. It's kind of important for you guys to get an early going early group going here. Yeah, definitely. Uh, they know what they're doing offensively and defensively, so it's uh, kind of getting getting a fast start. Is it as simple as your guys are more athletic and taller than theirs that you can just like throw it up to them? Is that work? Some, I mean, sometimes, but you know, they they, uh, they have good technique, play through the hands on defense, so you know, they got first down, damn. But how many points do you have to put up today if you guys want to take us home? Uh, I got tr I got faith in our defense, but you know, we're just gonna put as many points as we can. I appreciate it, Julian. Saying amazing job, keep it up. Back to you guys. I'll say he might be in high school, but uh, he's he, so composed. He, he, he is a, he is college level media trained. We'll say that. <laughs> Bro, give us something. Nah, oh my God. He's, I know. <laughs> yeah. he's calm, he's so cool, cool. composed in a, in, a, in a pocket. He does not care, bro. He, he's, he's already a college thinking quarterback right now. He's just here to play football. Exactly. But listen to what I'm saying. All I got to do is turn around and look behind him. The hash is right there. So Ty McCutcheon is the QB right now for Low Pro. Three star from Hawaii. There he's, he's going to take, take it off. off. 
takes Ty, uh, the 10 <laughs> down at he the 6 it. yard line. Hey, Scoot it. Down Don't the right let side Lofo of the start rolling now. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> hey, I will say this too. I love what they did on that last drive. Instead of just taking the ball from, from the chair, they had a player come in and snap Long the snap. ball. Long snap the ball to Ty McCutcheon when they blitzed. So now Miami used their blitz, but they got an easy completion, easy pickup for them first down. And Loki's so smart because you get a lot more time. Yep. In now. Inside the five. They got a touchdown. Oh, now. Touchdown. All right. Now. Here we go. Don't now. look now. Game on. Low pro. <laughs> Game on. Has entered the chat. <laughs> Slow start from them, but we know what it looks like when they get going. I think D and Kieran, that's kind of what you're talking about where they haven't, you know, they're they're blowing teams out today. They've had some slow starts, but then really by the second or third drive, they find their mojo. They get it going. They get it, it, going. it seems like they haven't had blowouts, but if you look at the score, it looks like they handled business on yeah. both of those teams, but they weren't the prettiest games. I think the real interesting thing is this is one of the better defenses we've seen at all of OT7. Julian Sand has been on one. Can they stay close to these wide receivers? But the ball placement, everything that Julian Sand's doing right now, the composure, it's pretty tough. Taking a shot. Oh, I thought he was going to take a shot. I thought he was going to take a shot. I did, too. I also think it's different, too, with Julian Sam being one of those higher-ranked quarterbacks. You don't see guys capable of getting through the progressions as quickly as he does. I think that's why he's Elite 11 MVP. I think that's why he's a great point. What, who Bama's probably smart. hedging their future on. He's unbelievably quick going through his progressions. Yep. He's smart. Not only player. does he make the right decisions, and Julian asked for a specific route here, so let's see what happens. He right there, that's exactly what he was looking for. Yep. To the same guys before Dion DeBlanc, the four star. Now, Dion was playing with Bass Houston earlier this season at OT7. Hey, hey, tell him, yo, I ain't telling him who to throw to. What are you talking about, man? What are you talking about? <laughs> no Maybe an accusation. <laughs> Maybe an accusation of uh, some joysticking down there when he was passionately defending himself. <laughs> so I know what that term means, but. For those of us who do not, explain that, Kieran. So joysticking is when a coach standing behind is telling the quarterback where to throw the ball, essentially making reads for him so he can just read half the I, field. And then I hate to ruin everyone's day, other. but Julian doesn't need anyone's help. Uh, he <laughs> definitely doesn't need anybody's help. Looking right, throwing it up for Mills. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Good PBU right there by Kaina. Kaina with active hands on Cortez Mills. China is only five foot three. Play is much bigger than that. Boy is making plays, man. Five yep. three, that's crazy. Oh, what age was that when I was five three? It's probably like thirteen, maybe twelve. Yeah. I think I yeah, I might have been like eleven. Nah, I was like nine or ten. Yeah. You guys hear this like surgery talking? now? You yeah, can I, stretch your legs? Yeah. I, 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 I did I did all my growing in middle school. That's why my basketball <laughs> game sucks now. <laughs> No, I hit, I hit high school 5'10". I was a late think. bloomer. I was like, you're hiding high school. You know what I mean? Freshman year. 14. <laughs> he's talking to you, man. Dude. He's talking to he's, you, I think he's, I think he's looking <laughs> at you, D. <laughs> Keep your eye on KJ Duff here on your screen. He's in the slot. Looking for him over the middle. Too long. Oh. Can we get a rebuild? Can we get a rebuild? Oh, my God. It's three and ball. <laughs> Underneath. He's going on top. Ooh, I just went underneath. Hey, oh, you did not. You went over him. All right. <laughs> Man, yo, yo, look, look. You got the slant back side. Yo, we got the same play. Went underneath. This coach, I don't know if you guys heard it, but he wants Luane to go underneath. Yeah, this coach same exact for Raw right Miami right is an animal. They want this one badly. They haven't won an OT7 event yet, but they've been in a semi. Oh, oh my KJ. goodness. What a, oh, my God. That is a Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Look at the ball placement in this one right here. God. This man threw the ball over about four different people in traffic in the middle of the field, and it went directly to KJ Dove's outstretched hands, only where he could catch it. Unbelievable ball placement right here. And there is oh my God. Christ. There isn't a better red zone target at OT7 than number five KJ Duff. Nah, you the gotta be kidding me. The four-star from Hey D. Where's KJ Duff from? Uh, isn't he from Long Island, New York? You're damn right he is. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, we, we have our producer KJ in my ear, who's also hype about that too. So I'm not the only one from New York here. 16-7 is the score. Low pro with the ball. No money drive yet. No panic from them. 
Mikey Eugenio back in at QB. Looking over the middle. Complete. What a, what a throw. A lot of traffic in the middle flag. of the field. What's the flag for? I think that's on the defense. Holding on the defense to climb. What a throw there by Micah, lofting it over a couple guys. He said, Julian, I see you and I raise you one. That was a great ball. Great ball. Eugenio drops back. Time. Scratch. Bring up second down. Good Raw defense Miami there from Raw crazy. Miami. Nah, they're, they're hyped for this one, man. They're Raw hyped Miami for this is one. Flying, bro. There's only eight minutes left. Yeah, I think I think a money drive is going to end up deciding this one, man. I think so. Too. So one guy we haven't really talked about for this Raw Miami defense is Ellis Robinson. Ellis Island, Ellis Island. the number one DB in his country. D, what impresses you most about him? He just straps, bro. He has great hips. Makes great reads. I mean, we don't even get a chance to see him play defense because they don't even target over there. <laughs> I, he, it's, it is truly kind of like Revis Island where you go a whole game and you don't say his name once. He is that good. He is going to UGA. He'll be playing on Saturdays in a couple of years, and I am promising you he is playing on Sundays in a couple of years. Hey, hold on, hold on, bro. I got some beef real quick, bro. Because we got out. almost people. Oh, my God. Is he in? He's short. I'm going to say he's he just, short. just short. What a tight window. What a catch there. My yeah, beef is that we got 9.2K people in here, and there's two little likes, bro. Like the stream. Drop some comments. Subscribe to Overtime. Start calling people out. Get us Start to 10K. Get us Share the names stream. Out. Send names. it to somebody. I want names. We need to get to 10K, man. Second down here. Second Micah. Down. Micah, a little too much. It's going to be a little bit too much. much. Huge third down too right here, much. fellas. Huge massive, third down. Massive play Ooh, in this game. Much. This could be game. Is low pro about to get upset mm. in the championship? Mm. A little too much loft on this one for low pro. Right He's here, open. I need my best play. Raw Miami still has a blitz left. It's seeming like they might run it. Need your best play right here if you're low pro. They're showing blitz right here. Gonna throw it. Throws it up. Oh, oh it's gonna be a flag. PI, PI. That's flag an all automatic over first down. It's, it's tough yep. to complain. It's gonna be an automatic, automatic first, first down. down. When well, there's three flags, it's gonna be an automatic field. first low pro. Gets away with that one right there, man. Six minutes, so this clock is still ticking down. Tick, 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 tick. And if I'm my, if I'm around Miami on the next drive, if if low pro gets a score here, if I'm around Miami on the next drive, I'm going with my money drive. Y'all ain't been able to stop Julian to. saying yet. Y'all gotta show me y'all can do it. have to. Yo! Hey, put, put, hey, come on, in zone! It's gonna be first down from the one inch line. Huge play. <laughs> Noah Macapule, number 10, has been their go to target. He got hurt earlier in this tournament. Ooh. It does not matter. Diesel Kamoku. Yep. Brings low pro within two, and with five and a half minutes Fair remaining, enough. we got a ball game. I love this. Take another look here, D. What do you see? I see a touchdown. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I see a touchdown. Man, smart ass answer. <laughs> smart ass quick, answer. Quick out, quick out on the goal line. Great timing on the throw. And so now right we here, got a ball game. Interesting take. Raw Miami not going with the money drive right here. Teams, teams act not like they're going with take the money drive home. is crazy. No, I see, you know why I like it? Because if they don't get it, if they don't get a first down here, they get a turnover now. It's just tied. I no, I hate that. At the at the end of the day, bro, I, I want I want last you say. Think NTO, I want last say. They yeah. go money drive right here and they score a touchdown. The game is over. There's no way that low pro. They're playing not to lose, not to win right now. Nah, I need you to go for a money drive right here. Not going for it is crazy to me. It's a, it's definitely on the conservative side, especially when you have a guy like Julian saying in a QB, and you have wide receivers like Nashawn Montgomery. Here comes the win. Oh, 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 oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! That's why you don't use the money drive right now. Oh my God! Pro takes the lead. I stand corrected. Takes the lead. I stand corrected. Did y'all say that was the Elite Eleven MVP? Oh. 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 One and two, co-MVPs, dog. The way he just said that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, 
Lowbro kid's crazy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> they talking, talking right now. Lowbro oh takes my the God. ball, takes the lead. And let's see what Ty McCutcheon is cooking up here for the low pro offense. Oh my offense. gosh. The Blitz, they're, they're not going money drive either. Should be interesting because if they do score quick, Ooh, yeah, I, I true, don't know. True, true, true. You got to start thinking about this. The money drive, yep. no money drive is going to be crazy if you end this game with no money drives used, man. At this point, it is a low pro game to lose. So, okay, am I crazy for thinking right here, low pro should use the money drive? Because, look, if you if you get, if you turn the ball over or if you throw a pick, you're going down, you're regardless. Going down regardless. You I'm need to you. score. And you make it a two-possession game no matter what, guys. Oh. D, that was Aiden Manatuai, mm. who the four-star who who won your ones at the Adidas throwdown yesterday. He's and he down. just made the play of the game He's so locked far. Down. He's locked down. Oh. He's and they are <laughs> laughing to the bank. It's that boy, it's that boy Aston <laughs> laughing at him right now. <laughs> <laughs> Ashton has found the end zone a couple times. They're Keep your eye out. on number eight. This is still a game, though, guys. This is going to be mad interesting to close it. Yep. Like I said, Raw Miami still has their money drive intact. Oh, my goodness. You Ooh. may have heard. See, that's they why I'm do wrong. still have their money drive. You may have heard. Ready, stay, go. McCutcheon drops back. High. Rolling out, looking for a guy. He's going to take off run. Oh, I think they're going to say it's a block. And then the ref dr drilled him with the flag. Holding on the defense. Oh, never mind. Yes, holding on the defense. Mm, decline, though. Decline. Yep. Did they get their run back? They don't need it. Ty, you get your run back? The clock is ticking. You look slow. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> Tom, yeah, you shushed you, Tom. That's crazy. <laughs> Tom's trying to get in their heads right now. He's trying to go against the script that Lily leaked last night. One minute, 40 seconds. Guys, I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh, man. I want to use money right here. I want to use go. money. They're killing that clock. They, they are. are but they're still going to have to go at some point. Yep, a minute so and a half I, I would have tried to score quick here, guys. I don't yes, know. Yes, exactly. I would have tried to score quick. Because you assume that Raw is going to score on the yeah, other side. Yeah, I think Raw is going to score. You, you got three downs again. right here. I want the ball back defense. again. They trust their defense. Look what they did the last drive. I like it. First down here. And if they score, they get momentum. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh yeah. there's going to be a flag right yeah. there. There's got to be a flag. And you know what that's going to do? Tick, 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 tick. Mm -hmm. Now the clock does stop on incompletions and out of bounds in the Possibly final minute. Both teams still have their timeout so left. pick routes down here? Yes, they are. that's all they do is pick routes because they not, that junk not like that in real football because that junk not wrong. <laughs> Ow. Hey, that was Hilton Stubbs, a four-star DB. That junk not like that. If you're wondering where he's from, he's from Florida. <laughs> Y'all can tell. If you couldn't tell. <laughs> 40 seconds. This clock is still running down. 35 Lopro. seconds left. And so wait, hold up. This is, this is my thing. There's 30 seconds left in this game. I'm not trying to score here. I'm up one. Facts. They're gonna fall start the way they're, they're geniuses. Started. They're the smartest team in the world. Are you serious? Why wow. are they stopping the clock? Now, do you think Stop this is clock. like they're taking a knee and that? Yeah, <laughs> oh wow! Still first down, right, sir? Clock is gonna stop right there. It's still gonna be first we down. Play the down. We know. That gives them we know room, every though. rule. That's why we're good. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's Man. <laughs> So right here, guys, look, 25 seconds That's, on the clock. Yep. I'm not even trying to score. I know. I'm not even trying to score. You're trying to run around for a minute back clock. here. Exactly. Take the sack. Or not even take the sack. It's only four seconds, but yeah. They need to complete it. An incompletion stops the clock. Out of bounds stops the clock. Just don't throw it. And there's going to be another hole <laughs> right there. That's <laughs> he, he looked up in the booth and said, that's twice. He can't guard me. Oh, my goodness. What's happening? So they keep holding us, and then they keep getting first down. So then we don't have to run a play because they're messing up. So you won the whole thing. Um, Congratulations on being OT7 champs. The script got leaked. <laughs> <laughs> He's the best. Uh, those boys are low pro, man. They know the rule book inside and out. They are tough to cover. They make big plays on defense. Raw Miami all out of blitzes here too, so they can't force the hand of the quarterback. They man. only have one timeout left. Yep. 
Surprised the clock stops oh, right 10K, there. 10K, 10K. I'm surprised Let's the clock go. stops. That's going to be a timeout for Raw Miami, How? but they can just Why take one they? more sack, and this game is going to be over. What's the point of them calling a timeout? It didn't even look like they players wanted to play. No. How y'all feel? How y'all feel, OT7 champs? I don't know. Not yet. There's 16 seconds on the clock. We'll celebrate when it hits zero. Mm. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. I was talking, but they locked in. Man. An interesting end to this game. I'm, 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 I'm wondering that's why we're game. stopping the clock. Yeah. That should be that, ball, that's game. ball game. That's, that's ball, ball game. game. That should be ball game. Yeah, that's ball, ball game. Game, ball game. game over. Five, three, two, two one. Oh, now we hit zero. I can shoot. And low pro. <laughs> Are your OT7 championship winners? Y'all keep playing with us, we the best. How you feeling, Aiden? Hey, we're feeling good, you know. We got that little deal going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, but that big one's for my dad. Shout out to my dad and all the fathers out there. Happy Father's Day type shit. We hey, run hey. this country. Congratulations, we out there again, man. At this point, yeah. like, who's beating y'all? We don't know. We just stick to our the techniques. We practice hard. That's all we do. Dang. That's Aiden Manutai, four-star. Come on, D. OT7 hey champion. On, run this, bro. Everybody thought we was going to lose. <laughs> Set us up for the lose. Y'all boys bald, man. You just a disciplined team. That's all it is. You guys have now won 25 straight games. How long is this streak going to go? Shoot. <laughs> it's going to go, this bro. This the last one for the class of 24, yes, so... Class 25, got to hold it down less, next year. You know what's crazy? I wagered another 5K. What y'all about yeah. to get? Everybody about to get some change. Uh, uh, y'all came out here. I heard about that. I heard about that. You didn't want to bet this time. Hey, yeah. Yeah. I, know, I did. Hey, I did. did. It worked I did, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, fellas. Where's pressure at, though? Hey, fellas. You know, Where's pressure at, though? Having you guys up here. Your whole down. team is over there. Y'all got to go get the joke. celebrate with the boys over there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Kinda jump on there. Kinda, I gotta say one time, and you, I know you gotta go celebrate with your boys. Oh, yeah. You were an absolute dog yeah. all you, weekend. Thank you. You were, you were good on offense. Your defense at your height is seriously inspirational, and you were a dog out here all thank weekend. You, you. Well, what's your vert, bro? Uh, I ain't tested yet. You ain't tested that, yeah. but he jumping out the gym, man. He's jumping out the gym. Congrats, thank you. congratulations. Y'all killed it. I mean, I'm not surprised. I don't think nobody's surprised, man. Y'all boys keep balling, bro. It's insane. They all popping up. Look at them. <laughs> no, for sure, man. Congrats, congrats, congrats. Congratulations. We got a couple yeah. more low pro boys joining the booth yeah. here. Micah, what's up, my guy? Here, Micah, Micah, let me get you a headset. Jump on, man, jump on. What's Micah, up? What's up? last year you were the QB for Low Pro. Oh, oh, oh. Last year you guys were you were the QB for Low Pro at OT7 Season 1. Yes, sir. You guys were the Cinderella story. And every OT7 you've played in this sure. year, you guys have won. Big dubs. What happened from last year to this year? I mean, we should. We've been doing the same thing. We've just been grinding, man. A lot of these teams, they sleep on us. They don't know what's coming, so shit. Sure. We just went out there and did our thing, man, at the end of the day. Talk about the chemistry that you and your receivers had because it's seriously, like, if, if, if someone if someone said you couldn't talk, you would still be doing your thing as Ty McCutcheon joins yes, the booth. Talk right. about the chemistry you the guys QB had duo with your I just, receivers. I wanted to come up here and say he's the best in the class of 2026. Oh. No hey, he's the best in no 24. Doubt. They sleeping <laughs> here, bro. You they guys sleeping. were unbelievable. Ty, it seemed like... You guys didn't skip a beat when Mikey came out. It was it was just same game plan. Talk about the chemistry you have with your receivers as well. You know, he don't get stopped, I don't get stopped. There's no point in calling a starter if we ain't getting stopped. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I ain't gonna lie, y'all had me a little nervous this game, man. I was a little nervous, but y'all pulled start. it out. Y'all yeah. yeah. did y'all thing, man. Congratulations. Thank you, bro. Champions.
can we see y'all again next year? I Another think so. I think so. Congratulations, guys. Be Go back. celebrate with the squad. Yeah, we got man. a trophy presentation about to begin down here in a couple moments with Kieran. Again, low pro, your OT7 season two champs. We're going to throw it down to Kieran for our trophy presentation. Kieran! Appreciated day, appreciated D. Ladies and gentlemen, after four divisionals, the best seven on seven teams in the country came here to Los Angeles, California, where we are here to crown the champions of OT7, representing Hawaii, Low Pro! Get your trophy, boys. Get your trophy, boys. You just need to, oh, I just want to rock. Y'all just want to rock. DJ, can we get, I just want to rock. Just one time. Ready to see these boys dance one more time. One last time, everybody give it up for your OT7 national champions from Hawaii, Low Pro. I got you. <laughs> you don't got me. You're lying. <laughs> hey, ask him what happened last time. I'm a man of my word. I'll pay up. The Gatorade bath, so the trophy you presentation. D, you promised him a couple of dollars, too. Yeah, and I did, I did. After 8 and 1 yesterday, I told him, look, if y'all boys win a championship, I'll match last year's five. Let's go. And look what they did. Tom, we thought they were going to win before. What do you mean, we? You picked Cali Power. No, 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 no. We both said, <laughs> we, both, we, we both had low pro, and if not them. Hey, <laughs> unbelievable season. OT7 season two is in the books. Four amazing divisionals. One championship that was even better. Low pro are your OT7 season two champs. That concludes the OT7 championship presented by Adidas. For Tom, for Kieran, for Sniper Jones, for my brother Destroy. Sir, I'm Alex you. Overtime Day. Make sure to follow us on OT7 socials. We will be back next spring for season three. Hell of a season. Peace. Out of there.